Hello, good morning! What's up, everybody? Welcome back to some more Cozy Vault Hunters. Today, number go up. Essence of gaming, boiled down and diluted. <laughs> we just have to make number go up. Can we just let big giant circles run the whole stream and make it super chill and vibing? Sometimes. Basically just mine o'clock. I don't know. I kind of like to let the Minecraft music vibe. I really like the soundtrack of that game. Which is why I typically don't play music anymore in the background. But I often do associate big giant circles with Minecraft. This isn't golf. Oh, you mean the game where you race to the bottom? No, slightly different. Lord Durin, thank you for 35 months. Lirazel, thank you for 27 months. Let's just uh let's just get on into it, shall we? I don't have a big old intro. Or anything to cover today. We are now on version 7.7. .7. I have no idea what's changed. <laughs> I can't keep up. Probably a bunch of bug fixes. I don't know if there's any content changes between version 7 and version 7.7. .7. All kinds of new stuff though. It's all very exciting. Fear and Furs, thank you so much for that prime in three months. Been watching the VODs for a bit now, but I'm all caught up. Dang. Thank you for the prime. Joe works very hard on those VODs. Shout out to the VOD watchers. Thank you, friends. When last we chatted... Oh, oh. Oh, our boy Fuji has set up an auto trader here as well. Interesting. So we can start getting redstone. My project. Dang it, Fuji. It's interesting that these ones haven't gotten progressively more expensive. I wonder why that is. Acceleration card. He's changed things. Wait, it looks like he... These are no longer plugged in? I have no idea what's going on here. Everything is different. What is this? What am I even looking at? Right, I have to turn Jade back on. Basic logistical transporter. We have mechanism unlocked? Or did he borrow that from somebody else? Okay. It looks as though that's going to run out pretty quick. That's fine. So something I'm curious about is why haven't these numbers gone up? Remember how expensive our melon trade got? Likely doesn't matter. Let's shoot on up to upstairs. Good morning, Sterncraft. The first thing that I want to do today, I deserve a new mod. We have here. Oh. Resilient focus. Can we use to modify the Valkyrie Reforge the amount of repair slots? It's kind of cool. Good morning, Pix. I deserve a new mod. I've been working hard, and we've got this big, big goal to make number go up. And as such, I owe you six gold. Oh, <laughs> Indeed, he took six gold from there. Anyways, I deserve number go up. And in order to facilitate number go up, I am going to unlock felt eight research. Oof. Uh, I was under the impression that that was going to cost me five research. But here we are. Belts are bigger than double pouches, but have the same amount of upgrade slots. This does, however, unlock the third tier stack upgrade allowing you to store even more items in one slot, as well as the advanced pickup upgrade, which allows you to filter items being picked up using NBT and damage values. It, in addition, it allows new technology in the form of filter upgrade, deposit upgrade, and restock upgrade. The filler, the filter upgrade will allow you to set a whitelist or blacklist for the extracting and inserting items through pipes in your backpack, the deposit upgrade allows you to quickly empty your backpack by right-clicking it on an inventory 
And the restock upgrade allows you to restock certain items from an inventory by right clicking with the backpack. I don't know how much of that we're gonna do. Eight. Eight, A. Eh? So eight times eight is 64 diamond. Benny a tight. Four. Why can't I do this math? Needs one perfect Benny a tight. Four times four. Sixteen Benny? Sixteen Benny times eight. Is that how that math works? It's too early. Somebody help me. 128 Benny? Does that sound right? <laughs> I don't know. It's before 11. Somebody save me. All right. And this is the really hard one. 8 times 9. 8 times 9 is 72 for one of those times 8 is 500. And 76 knowledge essence. All right. So, well, well, well. <laughs> we found our first goal. So, the things that we want to make go up today. Oh, and by the way, Fuji did crack open some dolls. So we got a little bit of carbon right now, which is fantastic. Actually, give me one second. I can show you what he got. Took me a second there. All right. So here's a screenshot of what Fuji got from the dolls we did on Monday. So, managed to high roll on a lot of the legendary ores. Pretty great right there. Look at that. Big things are... Where are they? He got the boss crate we got for the completed vault and ended up getting this out of it. So 28 carbon right there and a trinket. I don't know which trinket he rolled, but that's pretty spicy. And then another 340 carbon. So like that's that's big. That's very, very big. Did he use the Afuji murder pit? I don't know, probably. <laughs> no idea. So my goals today are one, I really want to get this bounty done. Because if we could get this unidentified, blah, 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 this unidentified treasure key, that'd be big. Is this worth doing? Fundamental focus is kind of cool. I'd go and I'd go and grind some ancient debris in the overworld to get a fundamental focus. This is kind of cool. But yeah, we really want to get this done. Uh, killed, drowned. So hopefully we can just luck into an ice vault. We'll see what happens. Morning, green mittens. Two. Of course, we're looking out for more echoes. We always want more echo. Three. Really want more carbon. And of course, number four, if we can get a little bit more knowledge, then we are in the money. Definitely in the money. Let's just go and double check our board right here. Uh, and then while we're at it, we really want to unlock belts. That'll help looting everything. And then, uh, you know, maybe a little bit of auto trading as a treat. Hey, Dweebert, thank you very much for 27 months. So let's actually start off by unlocking. Let's get ourselves... Let's do five crystals. Typically we do one at a time. There's no reason not to do a couple here. Let's unlock five crystals real quick. Number one, we need glass. We need sea grass. 
grass and glass. Okay, good start. Uh, we need, is that chimkin or rabbit? It's a rabbit, okay. Some rabbit, and then we need some coal. Coal as well. Boop. Number two needs deep slate. Uh, we need arrow. Ooh, arrow might start to get a little bit tricky. How do we get more arrow? Is Hazel selling arrow? Uh, we need more leaf and we need emerald. Okay. All right, we've discovered some issues here. Also, uh, 270. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. Okay, let's put this back for now. Let's put that back for now. And you know what's going to be our best friend here? It's on me. Pickering. That's right. Good morning, Mama Tats. Good morning, Max. Which saplings do I have on me? In a whole bunch of stuff. Mm. You have silk touch, right? Yes, you do. Good. Well, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> One more thing I need. Yes. Okay, perfect. Wait, I don't know if it's on me. All right, so here's the first plan. So, plan number one. Grow a bunch of trees, we hoe all the leaves, get a bajillion saplings, then we head back through a second time and collect all the leaves. I know, very smart. So smart. Imagine we can get more than 21 from this with our fortune home. Forty-two. I mean, that's actually kind of a perfect number. Wait, right. It's just so much easier. Good start. All right. 42 is in fact greater than 21. Aren't numbers amazing? Morning, James the Dabbler. Good morning, Chris. How are we doing today? Oh, very good. Thank you. You know, chilling, partying like a rock star. This is why I'm sad that the Pickering has been nerfed. I don't even care about the Pickering in the vault. I mean, mind you... I guess last season, Pickerang being able to do, like, the um, the crystal rooms was kind of OPOP. -OP. But still, like, I just want it for overworld stuff, you know? You know, very few rock stars that get up at 9 in the morning... Early bird gets the worm. I'm sure there's a rock and roll equivalent. Oh, goodbye forever. <laughs>
All right, how do we do? That's that's a goodly amount, you know. What if we turn it around? The worm that sleeps in stays alive. Interesting. All the good gigs are in the evening. Time zones. Checkmate. You forgot about time zones. <laughs> All right, next thing we have to do, we need to go repair our stuff. I like to go repair my tools while I still think about it, you know? All right, let's very quickly fix that. You there. You there. Small angry zombie. <laughs> Come over here for a second. Starting a little bit frustrated in your solo skyblock because some recipes are just too tedious and complete. Five crystals in a row that wanted salmon, sea pickle, seagrass, cod, or kelp. My local biome is desert. Brutal. Does get a little tricky so far. I do wonder about, yeah, some of the very biome specific ones in skyblocks. You just like have to bridge out until you find a river biome or something like that or an ocean biome. never really gotten into skyblock before. I did one block, but the one block that I did had like this magical block in the center that you mined for all the resources. You didn't really have to go into the whole like perpetual resource generation. I'm watching uh, Gemini Tay's skyblock YouTube series. And she's like, yeah. And then I just punched cobblestone for six hours with a wooden tool. <laughs> and you're like, oh my God. Skyblock is terrifying to me. That's fair. Yeah. Look over to the abyss. Actually, I'm really curious how much gold we have after all of the time I come here to repair my tools. What are we looking at? That's not as much as I would have imagined. Unless, of course, like... Some of those resources have been pulled out for reasons, you know? All right, let's very quickly visit the shopping district here. Hey, Mr. Asherak, thank you very much for that prime and congratulations on the Emerald Bean. That is a amazing, an amazing milestone. Thank you for your continued support. Emeralds, now to find a mini library and finally fix everything that's wrong with my life. Can you imagine? <laughs> Is this new, Gunner? I haven't seen this before. Congrats on Emerald. We're all bean with envy. Good looking green beans there. You've been waiting for a few weeks? That's very sweet. Oh, by the way... By the way, <laughs> the statues we made have been suffixed. Dear Hazel, She says, sure. Uh, I'm going to head to Hazel's base and say hello. Hello. Oh, hello. How are you? I am good. I'm really good. I just have to like admire your getup for a second here. Oh my god, what is your weapon? It's a. It's one of the epic transmogs. Yeah, and then no I, kidding. And then it, it's uh, it has you know, it's the cool double bladed thing. And the first thing I thought of is 
Star Wars Episode One. Yeah, I was gonna so, say. I mean, I, I yeah. Also, room. also, do you notice it matches your booties? It does. I didn't think about that. It totally does, though. Yeah. Also, the candle on your head interacts very hilariously with the Afuji. <laughs> it does, not it? <laughs> yeah, the little Groot candle on top is really quite something. I don't know. I'm Fuji's loving, I'm loving all fire. of this. <laughs> yeah, it's a look. Mm. Yes, uh, your mob drop shop does not sell one of the crucial mob drops, which is arrows. Yeah, I need to figure out a way to fit more drops in the shop. Maybe I need to switch over to like drawers in there, like two by two drawers. Because I have more drops than I have floor space for. That's fair. And you're like, it looks so cute right now. What do we... <laughs> yeah, that, that was my exact problem. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, let me go grab you a whole bunch of arrows. Okay, I'll wait here. Hello? <laughs> While we wait for Hazel, Hazel actually shared a really cool tweet the other day of a build. All right, let's see. Oh. Do you think this is enough? One second. I'm showing. I'm showing my chat the tweet of that um, that beautiful mountain cabin that you retweeted the other day, the log house. And oh I yeah, that one. That, yeah, it reminds me of like when I actually lived in the mountains. There's like a lot of like. Like almost like like you know like country club type stuff with like architecture like that. Yeah. Give me some good nostalgia. It's just so pretty. <laughs> just, yeah. All right. Anyways, you said is this enough arrow? Ooh. So that would be three sack worth. Yeah. Are you cool doing the same price you have for the other mob drops? Uh, four. Uh, di -di -ba -ba? Sure. Yeah. Four per. We well, can works. do more. I don't want to. You know. Nah, they're all. They're all kind of the same to me. I'm, they're voiding, so I might I don't need to. Okay, uh, that's fair. Choose people for them. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, no problem. Happy to help. And uh, even I, keep the box. Oh, even oh my god, you want you want like a soul shard or something for the box, do you? <laughs> it's fine. How many shulker shells do I even have? I have. I'm sitting on 465 shulker shells. All right, that that's fair. That's fair. <laughs> <laughs> Well, pleasure doing business with you. Thank you very much, friend. As always. Okay. Yeah, no problem. Ciao. Have some good vaults. Yay, Hazel. All right. So now we have Arrow. Toss some of that down. And so as to not flood our system, you know what I'm going to do? Actually, this is an interesting question. If I put this Shulker into the system and then I search Arrow, yes, it does show up. Okay, love that. Love that. Because I don't know if we can afford to put um, a couple thousand of something into our system on account of... Well, I mean, I guess I could put... Uh, what's a full shulker? What's 27 times 64? I think that might be a full 4K disk drive by itself. Seventeen hundred. I mean, I guess we do have a drawer set up for it. There's no upgrade on it. I could put an upgrade on it. What if I just put an upgrade on it? No, that's that's not a me problem. I'll let I'll let Fuji figure that out. Three! Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Man, we are making these numbers go up. All right. We should have a bunch of poppy. Barely. Barely enough poppy. And then we've got coal again. And from the coal, we have slime. Ha <laughs> ha! Ah, we are now the slime king. And then that is called dripstone. Slime farm worked out. Now we need snow. Need stone. Oh. Oh, geez. Does that just say 20,000 stone? Did I go through 30,000 stone? 
have I. Then we have Iron. Actually, a little bit concerned by how little stone we have. I believe we had... Oh, jeez. I believe we have... We had like 50,000 stone before. Is the stone generation off? Owner of vault crystals to make a good currency in a regular modded server. Incentivize getting a bunch of different things. The problem is they scale, right? All right, so deep storage is now completely empty for stone. And if we go down here... I mean, this is producing more. So it doesn't look like the way the system exists right now, it doesn't actually look like we can uh, scale up our stone eating. What do you mean by the scale? The more vault crystals you unlock, uh, the more expensive they get. So when I make 100 more vault crystals, they're going to be like 10 times more expensive than they were at first. I don't even think it's just they scale to the level of the person. I think they scale to the number of vault crystals you make, right? Yeah, so not every, not every vault crystal has an equal value. I've crafted 111 crystals. So the crystals that Hazel makes are way more expensive than the ones that I make. And I'm, I don't actually know what level Fuji is, but I would imagine that because of the Fuji production, he's made more than I have. That seems bad? Not necessarily. Oh, we, we can't quite see. So yeah, I needed 69 flowers. He needs 75. Trying to think of some kind of currency that requires work to generate, can't be automated, and isn't completely tedious like finding netherite. Uh, as soon as you said the completely tedious part like finding netherite, I was like, oh no. Can't be automated either. Can't be automated, but also isn't tedious. <laughs> that that's a that's a tricky balancing act, certainly. Uh, let's go to Dead Pine's base and buy some more poppies. Can't be automated, but also isn't tedious. Can't be automated, but also isn't tedious. God, I don't know. I always forget which direction his iron farm is. It's this way. The vault crystal system of asking for random blocks seems interesting. Yeah. Where did the... Oh, I'm literally looking, looking, blah, 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 looking at it. All right. Five stacks of poppies for one soul shard. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Three soul shards. I mean, I wonder if you could do vault crystals, but turn off the scaling. So when you spin up a uh, when you spin up a server for vault hunters, it does ask you what level of difficulty you want to do, and you can actually turn down how quickly the cost of vaults scales. And as such, that might be that might be sort of an interesting compromise. Is just being like, you know what? Actually, let's let's cool it on that one. Yeah, it is configurable. Uh, I need copper. Use of soul shards as currencies on the magic SMP is an interesting approach. I like it. Yeah. Yeah, soul shards is kind of neat. Actually, honestly, Max, I think soul shards does work because it can't be automated, but it's also not a grind to get. Yeah, this number is going down. I think I might have to turn off the auto trader there on account of... Uh, <laughs> Uh, all right. We are consuming stone at a rate faster 
then we are replenishing stone. No, you are absolutely correct. Because we get them in a... Not necessarily... It, they're not free. Like, they still take work to get. But you kind of get them non... Directly. You're also thinking in a non-Vault Hunters context, like a Surgecraft or something. Yeah. Yeah, currency in SMPs is always quite interesting, eh? Well, well, well. <clears throat> it doesn't happen to be an exact one-for-one for, one for the number of crystals I have and the number of Afugis I have. Welly, welly, welly. All right, how are we looking here? A, kind of cute. <laughs> kind of off topic, but I finally got off a 10 game losing streak in chess. Congratulations. I don't know, I think that's fairly human. Just be like, ah, the bad beats. Happens in any game. I need to go buy some more of these healing flasks sometime soon. Alright, so this is going to go up top. Now I need a little bit of vault stone. Alright, my friends. Are you ready for the first vault of the day? Am I ready for the first vault of the day? I kind of have to pee. Alright, let me do that. Oh. I'll be right back. All right, my friends, cross your fingers, cross your toes that we get a ice vault so we can get all those drowned. Ah, oh, good morning, Ashton. Oh. Do I have a bounty going? I do. I do. It's to kill drowned. Now, if I do that, I get an unif unidentified treasure key. It's a very, very, very good bounty. So, we want, we want everything. <laughs> Let's go! It's a desert theme. This is kind of the exact opposite we want. Now, it is a monolith one, or an obelisk one. Kind of wish those words were a little bit more different. So, we can ignore it and just get loot. Uh, and please also remember that we are quest-facing. Oh, our first room is a mining room. Okay, well... Oh, crap. Feels very quiet to me. Is that quiet to anyone else? Almost 
too quiet. No, seriously, no. <laughs> Memes aside. Volume seems good to you? Okay, so that's on my side. Thank you. All right, that's two black opal, which is kind of great. Kind of great. Gray at. <laughs> I think the, I mean, a huge jackpot for us right now is if we can get some echoes. Like echo would be big, big, big. Oh, man, three black opals though. That's excellent. Black opal is actually kind of more useful than even the, the legendaries right now, you know? Really happy to see another one there. Xenium, or as I like to call it, Fool's Echo. I mean, it doesn't mean I'm sad when I see a legendary though. Uh, you know what, let's just keep heading west. Echoes are always a jackpot. They really are. So we're happy to get basically every single chest. Every single chest type has stuff that we want right now. Forgot to watch Surge play Minecraft because I was watching Surge play Highlander. The new North 100 Showdown come out today? Or just sort of in general? Did I get that spawner? Good morning, Shiva. How are you, my friend? Love to see all this carbon. There's like nothing else upstairs. Single POI upstairs. Very rude. That was a slab. <laughs> That's why people like the honey blocks. Ow. That was just me being bad. That is a lot of black opal in here. That was a creeper behind me. Nice, cool. Oh, that's why there was only a single. Single chest upstairs. This is actually another mining room. Is it another mining room? I don't actually know. Legendary. <laughs> Any room can be a mining room if you don't care what you're mining. Wise words, Max. Wise words. You know what? You live there. 
My new show dropped with Wheeler today, and I'm feeling great. Ah, yes. You all changed your Twitter avatars for suspicious reasons. Ha <laughs> Congratulations! That's huge, friend. Where can people see your show? Yes. Link your stuff, my friend. Good. Audio only for the time being, but it's super fun. I'm all, that's awesome. Hooray. Well, if there's two, if there's one thing I know about Wheeler and Shivam, it's that they both love magic. Great new haircut. Thank you very much. Feeling like a cutie. What's on the dock for today? Today is a day of number go up. I need to get some more resources just to try and make some things happen. I want to try and unlock a new mod, but also in the spirit of number go up, I might try and make a farmer too. We'll see. We'll see where we end up on stuff. Box favorite. All right, the enemies should be arriving. No, no, I've been poisoned. So rude. Anyways, where was I? Quest. Oh, wait, that's ornate chests downstairs. The answer is down. Looks like I accidentally activated another POI whilst I was falling. Would have been around here. That's coin piles though. Don't like coin piles. Actually, if we're super lucky today, Maybe we can even, maybe we can even upgrade our tools a little bit, you know? Specifically around stuff like, um, like get one tool that does everything we have in our hotbar. I don't know. Everything costs resources. I'm shocked that nothing is free in this world. Shocked and disappointed. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Anyways, let's keep going west. It's important that you really pronounce the H in west. Otherwise, people won't know what you're talking about. I don't like this room. I'm going to skip it. 
There's no such thing as a free lunch. But what if there was? I like free lunch. Typically a fan. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, let's go. I think I was like 20 living chests away. Pardon me. 20 whatchamadoodle away from unlocking my next mod. So this is excellent. Weird mini dungeon. stuff away no one Ooh. keep fizzling very good something something tragedy of the commons interesting Every now and then, an enemy spawns on top of that campfire, and I always feel so bad for them. Like, what a way to go, huh? The entirety of your existence. if you ask me. Alright. End of the line here. That was weird. <laughs> I, I heard a zombie. I did not see a zombie. What's up, Aramo? Thank you for the kind wishes. That is a lot of carbon in that chest. Love to see it. That was an Omega basic chest too. Very good. I think I only needed like 20 to get belts unlocked. So one of the things you'll notice is that I'm starting to accumulate quite a lot of stuff in my inventory again, which I don't love, which means that my auto looting is starting to slow down and I'm having to spend more and more time sort of managing what goes into my bags instead of just looting. And that's bad, you know? Skeleton! Skeleton with a bow. So yeah, we need to uh, we need to upgrade our, our stuff, is what I'm trying to say. Like, look at all this, right? Look at all this stuff. That is bad.
Are bags expensive? Yes. Yes, they are. But the main thing that we're saving up for right now isn't even necessarily the expensive bag. What we're saving up for is the ability to unlock the expensive bag. It's a different kind of expensive. Oh my god, that was so rude. Literally the second before it broke. Oh, got a new jewel. Ooh, two mod boxes. Don't mind if I do. Uh, that's ornate. Always happy to mine ornate. Remembering how deep you got into the bag functionality in Surgecraft? Yeah, your, your bag setup was wild, Max. It's in the same ornate chests as before. I think we can just get out of here now. Please stop hitting me. <laughs> it hurts. <clears throat> I love that mod. There's a companion mod that puts the functionality on the chests. This is the same mod. This is the same backpack mod. The, well, they got the same author of that mod pack to write this one. They basically worked together to make a vault version of that that was a little bit more progressive. Er, maybe progressive is the wrong word. It adds more steps. <clears throat> so you don't get all of the functionality right off the bat. You unlock them as separate mods. So like belt. Belt is probably approaching a little bit closer to like the, uh, the cheaper backpacks in the original version. More elaborate. Same thing, but with more steps. <laughs> What's the word for that? Convoluted. I mean, <laughs> incremental, I think, is the word I was looking for. Although convoluted is technically also accurate. <clears throat> <laughs> That's very funny. I love the implementations of Backpack and Vault Hunter. They nailed it perfectly. I kind of agree. Like, yeah. There's a certain feels bad when you do a bunch of work to like get access to a chest only for it to be trapped to trade. Hey Shandara, thank you for the 22 months, friend. Hope the vaults are treating you well. We're on the first one of the day and it's been okay. We'll see sort of at the end how everything goes, but we haven't gotten any like spicy rooms or like Omega loot yet. Kind of, just kind of vibing, you know, vibing and vaulting, living our best life. My goodness. Good morning, Dead Pine. How you doing, friend? So I looked at your stream title today and it said something about celebration. Tell me about your celebration. What's the, what's the, what's the dealy? Anyways, hello everybody. I'm Surge. Playing a little bit of Vault Hunters here. We're all having just an amazing day. Nevermore, thank you for the 31. 
And if you're not already, go check out Dead Pine. I like Dead Pine a lot. I think you will too. Fellow member on our little SMP here. Oops. I would have missed my dash. Yeah, today we're doing a little little vault and maybe a little bit of building. I've partnered up with a friend on the server, so we do the um, the knowledge team thing, which also means we're just broke all of the time. It's hilarious. All right, this is not our starting room. Let's go back one more. <clears throat> Glad to have you on. We'll hit the annoying point of COVID. Oh no, never more. Rest up, friend. All right, is this my starting room? Yes, okay. We did the dead pine thing where we didn't loot our starting room. So we've got four minutes to grab all of this. Yeah, dead pine, thank you so much for the raid. Wait, I did already loot this. No! <laughs> Dang it! All right, hold on. We're gonna go loot this room then. Do a monthly goal if we hit that next month to do a long celebration stream. It was also my birthday weekend. Yo! Happy birthday, friend. That's very exciting. You know anything special? I remember you took a little vacay. Doing Lady Pine takeoff somewhere? Treat yourself? Dead Pine's turning 45? Heck yeah. Good looking 45 at that. Where the loot at? All right, we're getting there. So our goals are carbon, because everybody needs carbon. Forget update four, let's call this the carbon update, you know? All right, show me echo, please. Sigh. We need carbon, we need knowledge, we need echoes. I don't think that's too much to ask for. I think we can uh, hit that old dusty trail now. Um, that was a pro level MLG though, by the way. I don't know if Dead Pine warned you that you're gonna be in the company of a gamer. <laughs> it's really why you're here to watch people just land those absolutely sick gamer moments. <laughs> Dead Pine is pro level. I know, and I I I just need to make sure I keep that um that quality as consistently high as what you've come to expect from our boy Dead Pine. You know, wouldn't want to embarrass him. I know what he says before he raids me. He's like, "All right, now chat Surge isn't a gamer, but we kind of, we kind of humor him every now and then. So, so be kind. <laughs> All right, GG. One of your best performing shorts is you missing an MLG. Heck yeah. Oh, ooh, crunchy, pardon me. All right, how'd we do? Uh, kind of medium. I think we got okay stuff. So 79 chests, 20 of which were ornate. That's kind of spicy. We got some okay mining stuff. I think the thing that's really exciting for this vault is we got six black, six black opal. And that's kind of huge. Other than that, meh. <laughs> Drop that down, put all the vanilla stuff into here. And yeah, so the plan is, actually the plan is right now, if we got enough, the plan is to unlock 
belts. And then maybe spend a little bit of time here. Trying to unlock everything. Uh, what is 21 plus 553? 21 plus 553 is equal to 574. And according to our math, we need 576? At least I'm not off by one. God, can you imagine? Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Woo, dodge that bullet. All right. Good. That means we can do another one and not have to worry about it. <laughs> Actually panicking for a second there. Oh, wait. I have more stuff I need to put away. No, off by one twice doesn't... That's not how it works. Now you're just counting. All right, let's, ooh, 48 durability, eh? Looks like somebody needs to be repaired. Looks like somebody needs to make a repair core. <laughs> Looks like somebody needs to make some Volterite. All right, this is my final repair on this hat. Ahead of the game. We're approaching the end. All right, how else are we looking for stuff here? I need to switch out my Fujis. The big, big goal we have today. The big, big, big goal we have today is to get this bounty done. This bounty is to kill Drowned, so we really want the ice theme. And it gives us straight up an unidentified treasure key. How big is that? That's huge, right? So, we just have to cross our fingers and hope we can get into there. <clears throat> I'm kind of tempted. God, I'm tempted. Do you think we could spend echoes to make echoes, chat? We need 16. And I have one ore. Where'd it go? I have one Echo Ore. What if I carried another key on me? You know? What if we carried another key on us? And then we hit that key room. Because we've already crafted up the, the cluster. The only thing we need to do... Is make the blank key. And the blank key... Oh... I didn't realize it also cost black chromatic steel. The treasure hasn't been that good lately. I opened one not too bad, not too long ago, like after they fixed it, and I was really happy. Jim in England! Thank you for 27 months of tier 2 support. Keys are more often lackluster than not. The one key I did was red. Like, three pogs, three knowledge stars, multiple good tier stuff. That's disappointing. Alright, well, maybe we're a little, maybe we're a little too resource poor to make a key. Which is odd to say. He should feel more more jackpotty than that. Alright, well let's just uh let's just get into another vault then. <clears throat> Please remember that the plural of anecdote isn't data. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But my key was good, Twitch chat. I mean reason not to wear this. Why not? Wait. It's weird. Why couldn't I shift click it on? Yeet. Come on, ice biome. Cave. Trapped and ornate. Well, well, well. 
Uh, please remember that we are north facing. And I'd, I'd take a mine shaft, you know. Oh man, Elite Drown would be great too. So there's supposed to be ornate chests everywhere. And yet... Oh. Oh! Oh! oh, oh never. <laughs> uh, you mean like that one? Just got a trinket. <laughs> GG! Could be an echo over here. Never know. I've got another mine, or pardon me, another mine. I've got another pick that has a couple points of copiously on it. So if you're ever wondering why I switch my picks, that is why. Yo, what's up, Vid? Thank you for eight months. Wow, it's another Omega? Hello? Hello? <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> I think we call that the, uh, the dead pine diff. Dang. Thank you for eight months. Appreciate that. Has the unnamed used up vault sword been named? I know <laughs> it has not. I don't necessarily think it's worth naming. We're going to have to replace lots of our gear. But if it makes you happy. But there's no guarantee that those, that those items in that chest are going to do anything, you know? There's another ornate right there. Watch it also be Omega. Omega. I mean, I still got carbon. Still worth. These chests are trapped with loot. It's the worst. <laughs> so, last night, I had a very weird experience. Oh, well, this is a very cool POI. What is this? Last night, I was watching a streamer. Interesting. Yeah, a shocking, I know. I was watching a streamer who was watching a live broadcast of a high-speed police chase <clears throat> that was happening down in the States, which is already kind of weird. So streamer watching the news. And in this particular event, the high-speed chase was actually in a residential area. And it wasn't that high speed, which was kind of great. So, like, the person was running and the police were giving them distance because they, they deemed that, like, okay, we don't have to do anything risky because they're not doing anything risky. We can kind of just wait until they give up or whatever. So they're, like, following this car around. And then, because they just kept circling through the same residential neighborhood for, like, 90 minutes. This is the part that was, like, super bizarre to me. A bunch of people just ran outside on their cell phones. And it ended up turning into this, like, really bizarre spectacle. Where people could see themselves on the news with this medium speed police chase that was happening. And then... And then people started like trying to jump in front of the car or like, you know, the, the, it, it just, it was just 
so bizarre. It turned into this like weird, like this weird spectacle. And it was already a spectacle, right? So ultimately, because random people decided to start involving themselves with this police chase, then the police are like, okay, this has now gone from something where the person that we're chasing isn't doing anything dangerous. And as such, we can kind of like be chill with it. Now, because random people are starting to involve themselves with it, then they had to start like spiking the car. It was in uh, LA. They had to like spike the tires. They had to start aggressively trying to do like the, is it, I don't know if it's called the pit or the pick maneuver. Yeah, and basically because a bunch of random people decided to involve themselves with it, then it escalated. And I was like, man, this is so weird. The pit maneuver? Yeah. It's very, very, very weird. In LA, police chases are spectator sports. That's messed up, though. I don't know. <laughs> Look, as a Canadian... Kind of confused. All right, we've reached the end of the line here. Let's just quickly head down here. Ooh, hello. Spawner right there. Do I remember OJ's chase? Yes, I do. But the part I don't remember of the OJ chase was a bunch of random people. Maybe maybe that did happen and I just don't remember it. Did a bunch of random people like jump on the freeway to try and do stuff in the OJ chase as well? Or was it just America became fascinated by this high-speed chase? On overpasses? Really? I did not remember that part. I mean, mind you, the OJ chase happened, God, like what, 30 years ago? I don't actually remember. Ninety three. Yeah, gonna be honest, still hate the ghosts. I didn't switch to my good pick. You know what? I'll switch to the good pick if we... Crap. <laughs> hey, what is the noise it makes if you get a copiously proc? What does it sound like? Wait, it was 29 years ago? I was joking when I said 30 years ago. I didn't actually expect that to be true. That's terrifying. It sounds kind of like the epic chest noise. Okay. I've heard it a couple times. All right. I'll just try and hear it better, I guess. bunch of stream delay are you casting what are you watching on i'm always curious about that with stream delay i know when i cast on my tv do you have a chromecast the stream delay is like atrocious pardon me if you're new to the channel i make perfectly ordinary human noises don't even worry about it that's just what normal humans sound like Got it up on the browser on a second monitor. Really? 
PC and browser, and it's big old delay. Well, that's... All right, the trap is starting to kick in. that one log. Continuing south here. Your stream has been straight up crashing every 10. Well, that's bad. We got a trinket. First chest we opened, Slashy. Very first chest we opened had a trinket in it. We're in an ornate trap, and that was uh, a little gift from the vault gods. Right, the ghost noises are still cursed. Yeah, still don't love them. I could still do without them, you know? Whew. Another piece of vault gear. Let's go. Going to other tabs makes the collect connection more laggy. That's so wild. I always assumed that. Oh, this is kind of pretty. Right. I forgot that ghost hit you with the slowness. I always assumed that, like, a Chrome browser tab have zero, zero delay. Uh, I've never seen this POI before. I don't know where the, where the spawner is. Is the spawner gone? I don't even know. I guess I'll find out. find every time an ad rolls, it starts to freeze the stream. That's not good. I mean, I don't roll a lot of ads, if any. Actually, I don't think I ever roll ads. But, you know, in general, I would like Twitch to do well. And they're... Ooh! Ooh! This is an Omega Spawner. Does this have any correlation to the quality of loot I'm going to get out of it? Does Omega Spawner mean it's holding like three Echoes? I got a Black Opal. Oh, wait, I think I heard the noise. Was that the noise right there? Think that was the noise. Well, well, well. I rolled a double on something. It was probably just a Laramar. <laughs> Woo! Love to see it. What are you? Bonus speed? Sure. 
All right, so I'm continuing south now. So remember, we are in a north-facing vault. Oh, interesting. Western room. Uh, I was going to say, I really want... Jewels. I also really want to not die. What is with the speed? That was bad. One's just trapped. That one's just bad. That was me nailing my MLG. Time to go. <laughs> when you hear that many doors getting banged on. Oh, wait, hold on. Perfect. All right. So uh, <laughs> we've, left the, we've left the dangerous room and we've traded it for the significantly safer room. Good, good, good. That's what we like to see. Stop it! <laughs> ah. Do these spawners ever fizzle? Or no? Absolute delight. Oh no! I thought I had nailed it. <clears throat> Wait, that's the chest, not the spawner? I give up. <laughs> I'm out! <laughs> Are things spawning faster than normal? Apparently that scales, Dalarant. The higher level you get, the faster mobs will spawn. Out of here, small zombie child. All right, so we are now adjacent to our starting room. <clears throat> so we're going to do a little something, something like to call around the world. to balance the access to mining speed, but that feels bad. I want to feel powerful. I want to feel like I am getting ahead. Did nothing. Getting ahead of the mining speed, you know what I mean? Yet, so here's my issue. If something scales at the same rate that you get stronger, then you aren't getting stronger. They're, they're just taxing you, right? In which case, you're not actually getting stronger at all. So similarly, I feel like... Um, Strength used to be just kind of a tax that you had to take in the previous season. Because if you didn't increase your strength, you couldn't kill the mobs. I'm sorry, is this just literally another western room? What is happening in this vault? Wait, where'd my water bucket go? I middle mouse clicked and it replaced my water bucket? That 
is not good. Ever. Hey, what's up, Reese? Twenty two, let's go. So this should be our starting room. Okay, another key piece. Is this the one where sometimes there's another chest? Yeah, right there. Hidden. Coins don't care. Hitting all the trap chests now. And I hate it. Oh, never mind. There's an Omega. I take it back. <laughs> Game's perfect. Change nothing. No notes. All right, maybe one note. <laughs> Two notes. Two notes. Sometimes very challenging to see ghosts in a cave. Whatever, we're stuck in the water. About to get punched. Wow, I'm getting bullied currently? Wait, did one of those become a drowned? Hold on. What update are we on now? We're on 7.7. I'm gonna try and see if I can get, can't get these zombies to become drowned. that count? I'm at 67. Okay, I, I gotta go. Where's the way out? Uh, north facing. 
which means I want to go south. <clears throat> you were at 66? Oh, that was some Reese levels of greed. Yeah, no, we good. We good. GG, everybody. Going into Hazel with the new update. Mine rooms are back to what they were before. You have to mine the whole thing. No more clusters. Oh, that's too bad. Especially with the changes to pickaxes. 90 chests looted. 16 of which were ornate. Wow, five Omega ornate chests. That explains a lot, honestly. And then uh, not a ton of ore this time. Oh, never mind. We still got two black opal. It's not bad. 32 seconds left. I know. Reese is probably so disappointed in me. I could have stayed in there another 31 seconds. Right, Reese? <laughs> Harry on the SMP broke the meta with a hammer, though. Oh, that's actually a really good call. Get that hammering on there. Yeah. Hmm. I got a lot of pieces of Vault gear in that. Let's put the vanilla stuff away. Wow, that's so many pieces of Vault gear. Sorry, we already put two in the chest. And then we have four more here and a trinket. What? Not bad. What jewels did we get? Chipped, 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 chipped. All right, give me a quick second. I need to use the washroom. And when we come back, I now have enough knowledge stuff that we can unlock belts. So we might spend a little bit of time doing some audit stuff. And then uh, maybe we'll maybe we'll make another pick or something like that. All right, BRB. Hello, I return. Pink Floyd, yes. Thank you. Wait, 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 hold on. I missed Zalukster's sub? How many subs did I miss here? Did I say hi to Compunic? I'm gonna go through the last three just in case. Compunic, thank you for 34 months. Zalukster, thank you for the 14. A baker's dozen plus one. Looking forward to your Elder Dragon hijinks appearance. Oh, did they spoil that? With the little teaser shorts they do? And Pink Floyd, yes, thank you for the 37 months. They're all very exciting. I appreciate you. Wait, how are we doing here? 100. That's fine. Oh my god. I, I need new gear soon. 87? Uh, that's... I think I could greed one more vault out of that one. All right. Let's put this away for now. And let's grab all of this knowledge essence. Throw it in the system. And let's craft ourselves up. We need... Eight. Ugh. Eight knowledge stars. Because I'm in a research team. So hold on here. Knowledge essence divided by eight. I need to make 72 knowledge essence. All right. So let's start with that. What? Did I do the math wrong? 
I can only afford 66. Or eight per. Well, I know it's eight per, not nine per. I don't know what you mean. I'm going to assume my math is perfect. All right, I need eight of these. Wait, oh, <laughs> I needed 64. Right, okay, so that's fine. And I've got two of these left over. Luckily, they have a space in the drawer. All right, everything is great. I love the fractal icon shows up every time you said, do I do the math wrong? <laughs> that's why they sponsor me. <laughs> All right. Angers. And now we have access to belt which is very exciting. Let's go update the board. All right, so we're, we're back to zero. We have unlocked all the mods that we're currently working towards. Oh, by the way, the next thing I want to build right here at the end of the canal, I want to make a wall. I think that might be potentially really cool as a way to start like making this whole place feel more complete. I can't believe how many half finished projects we've done with our building so far. We're getting there, but the vaults wait for no man. Do I have auto crafting? Auto crafting costs about eight bajillion points. If you want to auto craft in this, you need the automatic genius, which costs 150 research points. So no, I don't have auto crafting. It'll all come together just in time for the server to end. Yeah, cool. <laughs> I just have to unlock Fuji. Once Fuji has been fully unleashed, all my problems will be solved. Anyways, let's find out what it costs to make an belt. A loot belt. So a loot belt costs two tier two pouches and a pog. You have Fuji, that's a kind of auto crafting. You're not even wrong. Two tier two gives me one belt. Now, I don't have two tier two. I have one tier one and one tier two. And I suppose when their power combines, that'll get me what I need. Like, that's fine, I guess. Do I have an empty jar on me? <laughs> I thought I had another pouch somewhere. I guess that was a lie. Oh my God. Oh yeah, interesting. So it turns out, this is kind of cool. It turns out when you use uh, an Afuji, when you use one of the vault dolls, you get literally the exact same again. Because the chances of rolling two coin affinity, wooden affinity and vanilla mortal to immortalities, pretty low, you know? Why did I feel like there was another pouch somewhere? Should probably learn how to spell that word. I guess I lied. Hmm. Maybe it was just because I had that extra pickup upgrade. All right, let's assume that I have to build everything from scratch. And that's fine.
We can import the filters. I don't know. We'll... Hmm. So one of the things I remember reading about the new update, or pardon me, the new update is not the right word, when we unlocked belts is something about NBT data. Does that mean for ores? You know how I had to put in Laramar twice? Laramar for like Whitestone and Laramar for Vaultstone? Will those automatically stack now in the new pouch or do I still need to double things up? I'm just curious what it means by, by that. Just a heads up, belt isn't double, it's 1.5 bigger. That's fine. I can also just store more stuff in it though, right? For example, the um, vault dust, whatever it's called. I often have stuff overflowing because I have too much of it. Whatever that's called. Maybe I have a new fewer whitelist stuff. I don't know. I'm going to try a new thing. Oh, pardon me. All right. So the first thing I need to do is I need to turn this into a double pouch. So that means I need to make a second singular pouch. The singular a second singular pouch is going to cost me that. Let's go into our crafting terminal here. Let's make a an bundle. And then turn that bundle... into this. And by the way, look at how much faster everything is now, eh? Now, I have two tier one pouches and I can turn it into a double pouch. Just need to make one of these. A couple of extraordinary Laramar. All right, I now have two double pouches. Now let's turn the double pouches into a belt. This is actually, that was not nearly as painful as I thought it was going to be. Neat. That was so fast. <laughs> if I want to keep the color, put the pouch on the left. I mean, I can just re-dye it. Die is cheap. But that is good to know. Oh my god, it kept its name. It's called New Hat. That's very funny. So, let's see the size of this. That's kind of cool. So, here's an interesting question. I haven't said anything yet. <laughs> I've noticed a lot of people running belts, but they're not even necessarily auto-picking things up. What they're doing is they're actually just looting directly into their own inventory. And then from there, like manually transferring it into their back into their belt. And as such, like hotkey looting with Quark. Uh, I thought they were just doing this. I thought they were just literally like opening a chest and then just shift, right? Like, I don't even think you need to hotkey loot. I think you just, I don't know. Like, what does hotkey loot mean? Isco was complained about the keyboard looting technique. Ugh. <laughs> Ugh. <laughs> I don't know. It's the meta. Gamer's gonna game. So if that's the case, I don't need auto pickup. Well, no, I will for ores. I still will for ores. So I think we... Hmm. The keyboard part is to open the bag and press a hotkey to insert the buttons into the pouch. Oh, that's kind of interesting. I guess that they're, they're key binding this, the insert button or whatever. What button are people using for that? What button do you have it bound to, chat? 
Because I obviously have like backpack set to B. Anyways, I should get a stack upgrade three. Stack upgrade tier two. Yeah, I want stack upgrade three. Which costs a two and two pogs. That's fine. You did V, B for open and insert. You just use B for both. So that's interesting. Hold on. If I have this here. If I hit B for both, B also closes backpack. So that, I don't know if that necessarily works for me. I have V for voice chat setting. I don't want to rebind that because that's important for what I do. All right. Anyways, let's, uh, let's make this really quickly. That's not that bad. Two pogs in the tier two. Let's make it tier three. All right. So I want that. I want the pickup upgrade and I want the auto refill upgrade. An auto refill is going to, uh, it remembers, that's kind of cool. You have to hold down shift for match inventory. Interesting. What is the. What is the keybind called? Oh, it's insert. Another option that Iskal used is to control Q and drag over items in the chest. It has a short delay, but also works without the inventory management part. Another option that Iskal used is to control Q. So that's drop an entire stack. So what do you mean? But control Q by default, Green Mittens, is to drop the stack. How do you control Q and also drag items over into the chest? That part doesn't make sense to me. Hold control Q and drag the mouse. That's what I'm already doing. If you hold control Q after a short delay, you can just drag it over. Hold on. It works with drag looting. Wait, hold on. Really? I had no idea that worked. I had no idea that worked. Well, well, well. Welly, welly, welly. Huh. One of the things I was always kind of bummed about was that that didn't work. That didn't work. The filtered insert is still faster, but that method is real simple. Yeah. Yeah, maybe that's fine. Maybe I'll just do the same thing I did before. All right, let's grab all the scav items here. Oh, they're in no particular order, are there? Hey, somebody before found me a list of all the scav items. You know what I'm talking about? It has all the scav items, scav items but also sorted by type. Because this also has like old ones, like these old bangles don't exist. Can somebody find me that? <laughs> You can also get rid of these. How do I? There we go. Nice. So I can do that, which is kind of huge. I think I'll still keep two, but then I can put like my my pick ring and my pick there. Hey, mop, 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 mop. thank you very much for that prime. And 27 months. Appreciate the heck out of you. So if I do this, actually, no, I definitely want these down here. Which means I need new stuff there. Which means I need to rearrange this ever so slightly. 
Posted it on the stream channel in Discord. Thank you. Amazing. Thank you very much, Green Mittens. All right. So first thing I want is the blood vial. Into cracked script. Into green bangle into Cracked Pearl. Then we have Ripped Page. Where are you? Ripped Page into Zombie Hide. To Pottery Shard. To Spider Web Spool. Then we have Drowned Hide. To Spider Fang. Zombie Brain. Zombie Eye, Jar, where's Jar, into Sack, Saddlebag, to Wizard's Wand. Wizard Wand is still so weird to me. <laughs> and then we have Red Scroll, followed by Spider Soul Charm. Goblet. Finally, after Goblet, we have Earring. 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 Which one of these necklaces is the earring? What does it look like? Oh, it's... There it is. Oh my god. It's one of those days where it doesn't matter how long you stare at something, you just can't ever see it, right? And then green, purple, black mob essence. Green, purple, black mob essence. All right. So I have four more slots that we can put into here. I have two here. And I think the first one of those that we need is absolutely this. That was missing previously. And I don't know what else. I don't know. So we don't have there. Netherite ingot? Nah. We don't get enough of those. We want things that we get a lot of, right? I think I can leave it open. And then maybe we put like a key fragment. I think I need the lemons in there. Not the lemons. Um, no, no, I'm right. The bitter lemons. Yeah, bitter lemons need to go in there. If we get a key, the key goes there. What's the block at the center you're depositing into called? This? The drawer controller for this whole drawer system? So like things that I don't collect currently. Uh, we don't have a slot for Dreamstone, right? I don't think we have a slot for Mushroom. So I'm a little bit frustrated actually that we did all of this work. And we actually just have the exact same amount of space we had previously. I don't feel like I'm actually even all that far ahead. It is kind of cool that I just have one bag now, but still feels a little bad. This wasn't the one-stop shop I was hoping it would be. Maybe I'm actually supposed to just have another separate bag on me. That's just for scav vaults. And then... Yeah, maybe this was actually a mistake. I'm going to make another tier one bag. Yeah, I got a plan. I got a plan. All right. Let's go to pouch. We're going to make a pouch. Uh, 
<clears throat> and then Pouch is going to have a stack upgrade and an auto pickup upgrade. And it is going to... Yeah, it's just going to have that. Wait, that's wrong. <laughs> it's fine. It's close enough. All right, so what am I missing? I'm missing the, sp uh, the spider soul charm. Spider soul charm. I'm missing the goblet. I'm missing the sack. There we go. Okay. So let's save this into slot two. You're on a belt for scav or and tools in a second for loot. A bit ahead of you, but something maybe work towards. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. So now if we do this and we put it away and we hit B, I can now remove all of this. And I think it might work. Yeah, I can just shift click things in. I want something for there. Because that frustrates me. <laughs> uh, let's just make a dreamstone for now. I don't know if I'm going to drop everything from the chest directly into it, but I do think this is going to be a huge improvement. I've got a plan. We'll we'll see how this goes. We'll see how this goes. So ideally what this means, let's take both of these for now. But ideally it means that we can completely eliminate these shulker boxes. I'm not ready to do it yet though. Because, you know, just in case. So this has the auto refill, which is great. Yeah, good. Good. Auto pickup was done there. Um, match backpack content is correct. Match backpack content is correct. We're going to test. All right, I have to switch out the Fujis. Ready to be released. So here's my hope, my friends. My hope here is that we can get another underwater cave. Do we want to try and do something a little juiced again? How are we doing for 29 Dreamstones? You know what? Let's let's do that. Let's let's try and make one a little bit juiced here as a just as a little treat, you know? All right, I think reasonably I can try and get three onto this. So the Eye of Avarice, oh my God, the greed here. So here's how this works. Every single one of these adds trapped. Every single one of these is the percentage chance that our vault crystal gets exhausted. Is there a way to see like ahead of time or no? It's, is it random when you get exhausted? Is there any way to game it with resources? Sakim, thank you for the 17 months, my friend. My rare book arrived today. Congratulations. Heck yeah. I'm just wondering. It's just a chance. Dang. All right, let's just try and greet it. Let's see what happens. I want the god, the god one. That terrified me, my anvil. <laughs> Okay, still not exhausted. Still not exhausted. Yep, 
Yo, let's go. Every room is gonna have double living, double gilded. Oh, we got there. And no chest will be trapped in this vault. All right. All right. I'm stoked. All right, Fuji. Wait, what's the best Fuji I have? 57% loot efficiency. We want a good one here. It's the best one we have. Let's do it. All right, if this is also a frozen one, I'll be so excited. No. Oh, it's a scav vault too. <laughs> a scav vault, we need living, we need black mob essence. Uh, so black mob essence comes from ghosts, I believe. Something beneath me fizzled. All oh, right, I don't have a spot for shards. So I wonder if that'll auto loot into there now. I believe skeletons are also black shards, or are they purple shards? Now the question, what is this? 22 experience, let's go. Sorry, one second. I have to like, game out of my mind for this one. Purple is Hunter's, black is Skeleton and Ghost. Okay. All right. So I want this. I want this. I'm just going to, I'm just going to, I'm just going to do that. You know, I don't need to be specific with it. I can just shift, drag it in. All right. Uh, please remind me, which way does this vault face? This is a... Uh, we are west facing. Everybody, please remember west facing. Skeleton and ghost is black. Thank you. That's at least two drowned hides so far. This might be like a super easy complete. Auto-picking everything up now. Love to see it. Eh. I get it? Yeah, I did. Ah! Go. What's up, snack? How you doing, friends? Welcome, welcome. We're streaming today. We are in a super juiced vault right now, so if I'm kind of like hardcore focus mode, I apologize. We, uh, we luck sacked into four chest modifiers and a modifier such that none of our chests can be trapped. It's very, very, very good. But welcome. Thank you for bringing your community on by. We got a cozy stream. All right. So I believe we're done eating um, living chests. And we're not going to stop looting them because obviously they're excellent. But we're done eating them.
God. I'm so glad we have a really good doll right now, too. What are you? An amazing attracts a deck and draft. Going five and three. Oh, a little bit of magic. Fantastic. You're gonna be on fire. Just so rude. Do the dolls give more Fuji Vault experience? That is how Fuji levels. Uh, we don't get more experience from them, but Fuji will get a percentage of the experience that we got as well as a percentage of the loot that we got. That almost was really funny and really bad. <laughs> uh, neat. Realize that we need a lot of wooden chests here if we want to actually finish this because we don't have... We need two of the Omega tier one. Oh, that's crap. Hold on. Time out. This might actually be hard. What is the percentage chance of that, my friends? Getting one of them. Like, on average, how many chests do you have to hit? Spider spools are difficult? Yeah, I was just realizing that. Oh, what are you talking about? Easy. There's one right there. Difficult. I thought I warned you that y'all were watching a gamer. So I'm heading south still. Wait, why am I heading west? Chat? Chat? <laughs> Sorry, can somebody remind me which direction of vault am I supposed to be facing right now? It is west facing? Okay. Ah, sometimes the vaults kind of blend into each other, you know what I mean? Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Two key pieces? Are you kidding me? There we go. There's the other spider spool. So we just need to loot and kill mobs. And then I think we're at a, uh, a big old GG. Curiosity. Four out of five on the black mob essence, too. Well, all right then.
somebody explain to me where that that zombie came from? That zombie popped out of the ground, right? Like, I'm not imagining things here. What is this? Oh, heart shrine, sure. a ghost zombie. That's actually very thoughtful. Hazel gave us like a countdown before she started to vault. See that lag kick in? Alright, so the pouch is now full. I don't know how I feel about that. Wait, is there another room here? Is this ornate again? Yeah, it is. Continue heading west. We're done. <laughs> All right, uh, we're done with 14 minutes to go, and now we just get to loot. Oh, there's one up top? Yeah, okay. I'll try and remember that for the next time. I knew there was a third one, I just couldn't find it. I wonder if we, like, we really don't even want to fight that many POIs, right? because we have so many other chests just lying around waiting for us, like this one, you know? But this room appears to be a little bit... Ow. This room appears to be a little bit stingier with the spawning of our three chests. haste what you use to smash chest faster? Yes. I've been saving up. Yeah. Speed is movement speed. Haste is mining speed. Hello? Three chests? Okay. Fizzled. Fizzled means it's free. I think it's very rude to not loot a sizzle spawner. Oh, there's another one of the spools that we needed. Alright, so this is a dead end here, so let's head back. A chest in the middle of the room had been mimic vibes, man. I mean, they kind of have mimics. The uh, the mob trap mob trap chest is basically a mimic, right?
Hey, what's up, 10th piece of eight? Thank you very much for that prime. 22 months. Holy moly, that's a long time. There's... All right, well, there's all kinds of good stuff down here. Got there. I think I'm going to want... Blah, blah, blah. I think I'm going to want to put, uh, like, soul shards and some stuff into my other pouch. We'll see. See if there's a way that I can free up a couple more slots, because I do feel like I'm still overflowing just a little bit here, which is kind of unfortunate. But, like, this is such a huge improvement over previous ones already. Not too worried about it. Alright, so... Wait. No, I already, I already jumped to that one. So I came from this direction, right? Yes. And now we are heading, now we are heading east. Okay. Do I have to make it a double? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're like, we're pretty thread rich, cloth, whatever that, that stuff is called. The issue is just the way my brain works of wanting to like... I like loot to, loot to be in categories. I don't know if anybody else's brain works that way. trying to hit as many of the free chests as possible especially twice if i can hit them twice i think that's the best way to maximize my time you know <laughs> the whole um measure twice cut once sort of thing works with chests too highly recommended for looting efficiently that way i make sure you know i didn't miss anything the first time i looted it Since I'm here, be rude not to. any sleep last night. I don't know if Snurge reading you a bedtime story would help with that. But I am sorry to hear about the lack of sleep. Somebody who was, was a long time sufferer of insomnia. I can sympathize. Look, my cactus. Snurge, see? This is what I'm talking about. Would that help you fall asleep at night? Nice little laggy lag right there. Is this a chromatic room? Yeah. I wonder if chromatic rooms can still have the chests in them. Maybe. Not that I saw, but maybe. I quickly begin snoring softly. Ah, uh, very good. The dulcet tones of Snurge's nonsense send you off to sleep. Hey, a uh, favor for you, friends. Can you keep your eyes peeled for deposits? Ooh, here we go. 
the deposits. Spawner still around? No. Okay. Just as we get closer to the end of the time, sometimes you can just get extremely unlucky when it comes to finding like the last scav deposit box. I just want to make sure that we have an exit strategy. This room is very dark. That's everything in this room already? Maybe? One, two, water? Sure. So for example, let's remember that back one downstairs, there's a deposit. Which way am I going here anyways? I'm going this way. Back one downstairs. All right. Does the, feel, the theme feel darker than before? I mean, my Minecraft is just really dark all the time, I've discovered. Oh, all right. This floor downstairs works as well. Also, the side our starting room. That doesn't really matter. Just for those of you who keep track at home. Oh, I did it again. Uh, you know what? Let's just let's just loot this room. This will be our last room. Bet you there's enough loot in here to keep us company until the time ticks down. This feels like it was a very, very, very good vault. Like, tremendously very good. <laughs> Three minutes left. This is maybe not enough room. I guess I could go upstairs here. I want to try and get as much value out of this one as possible, just because it's so good, you know? But I also don't want to greet it and lose everything. That would feel very, very, very silly. So I think my looting feels faster with the changes that we've made. This will be our last POI. Where did you even come from? Killing the ghost sounds like you're kicking a dog. Yeah, ghosts are actually just the worst. Like, <laughs> I don't know if you knew this or not. I need to head downstairs. All right, black mob essence. 
uh, the spools and drowned hide. And then everybody, let's get some GGs in chat. Go. Oh, 10,000 experience. A hundred and forty chests looted. I think that's an all time record. That was a lot of chests. That was a, a lot, a lot of chests. Wow. 80 wooden. Top of 27 and 26. My goodness. So, Fuji is also going to have a 57% chance to get the scavenger trade as well. Does it keep stats on that anywhere? So yes, you can open vault history. And then if you really, really, really like one, you can favorite it. It'll show you the last 50 you did, unless you favorite them. So 140, it's 122. Fourteen carbon is huge. Rare shield. Oh my god, four, four, relic fragments. Wow. <laughs> That's very good. Wow, that was very good. That was a tremendously successful vault. So I do wonder for things that are vanilla. If I don't bother storing them in there. But I ended up looting them. Maybe that's what goes into my other pouch is the vanilla stuff, you know? I really need amethyst shards and copper because I don't have a good way to farm those as well as soul shards. Maybe? No, I kind of hate that too. I don't know what to do, chat. I don't know what to do. I don't like that this is all just a great big mess. Little one just went down for a nap. Nice hanging out. I'll drop by again soon. Thanks for hanging out, Wassian. No one's made a drowned farm for copper? No. Probably be me. Wait, hold on. Can you even get these out of the vaults? Like, wait a second. I have... I have... I don't think you can get vault ingots or chromatic steel ingots out of uh, out of vaults, can you? So in which case, what am I doing? Maybe I need to redo those filters. Ornate chest can straight up give you like chromatic steel ingots as well as vault ingots. As well as whatever these are called. Hmm, maybe. Do you do puzzle pieces in the scav pouch? No, part of the reason I don't want to do that is... Oh, weird. I have a... Check JEI. No, thank you. <laughs> Look, I don't check things, K2Los. I got chat to help me for that. Either you're right or you're wrong. There's no double checking. Vault ingot, yes. Steel and alloy, no. Thank you, Green. Oh, I find reference. Well, no, I mean, again, it, it's so funny. I'll ask chat a question and somebody will be like, here's where you can look it up. Like, chat, please. <laughs> chat. <laughs> you're breaking You're breaking the agreement here. The agreement is that... 
I ask you questions and you help. Ah, I found a reason why I don't want to put things into here. Because then these slots would get pulled into... Aha! Aha! All right, I think I've found what I want to put into here. I think I want it to be these things. I need to put an upgrade on this too. This is a good vault. This is a very, very, very good vault. Now, I can't help but notice that I did not at any point use this shulker. So I think with some confidence, I can now say we don't need that shulker anymore. And that's kind of cool. A risk melting the lemons. I mean, they were in there before and I didn't. But yes, there is a risk. But I think I'm I think I'm okay with that. Alright. Some more scav stuff down there. Today's been a big day. What are we at, by the way? We are at 729 carbon. Let's go. Any flawed jewels? Oh, they're just all chipped, eh? So the biggest thing that we haven't hit today is a drown vault. Really, really, really want a drown vault. I mean, I guess one thing I could do in theory is I could just like hide underwater and wait for drown to naturally convert. That seems really slow and really boring. All right, another thing I need to do is I need to repair, God, everything. Oh, just these two. Two more repair cores, please. Oh, I feel like some numbers are going down, chat. <laughs> Help. <laughs> Am I doing it right? I'm also a little bit nervous about this pick. I think if I find a mine shaft, I can't, I won't be able to uh, defeat it. Maybe I do need a hammering pick after all. Pardon me. The way I evaluate jewels is the vanilla test, as in the lowest tier one modifier for every 10 capacity. I don't quite know if I understand. As in the lowest tier one. Yeah, I don't know if I quite follow that. Interesting. Hammering also uses one durability per hit versus one per block like Vein Miner. So it lasts much longer. Yeah, let's try making a hammering pick. Just in case we find a big, big, big mining area, we should have one of those prepared. So I make that here, and I want it to be made out of Volterium. So Volterium Hammer. Do I want to give it picking? So help me out here. Hold on, what is green saying? If a tier one mining speed rolls one, I would keep a jewel that has mining speed of one. I still don't know what you mean. What? How does that? How does that translate to vanilla? Anyways, let's talk about hammers instead. Does a hammer by default mine stone, or do I have to put picking on it? I'm gonna craft it either way. So it has hammering plus one hammer size. You need to add picking. Okay. So let's go to my jewels. Let's grab all of our jewels here. Well, let's only grab ones if they matter. This has a capacity of 80, so I don't know if I can put copiously on it. 34 copiously plus 1.2%. This one is terrible. Wait, size 80, 0 0.6? That one's going straight into the blender. 34, 1.2% is very big. Uh, Anti-muffin, my friend, thank you for 26 months. Good morning. So size 44 picking, that's pretty good. 
Size 67 shoveling is probably garbage. Maybe reach? Probably not. Yeah, like this one's probably bad. This uh, coin affinity is probably fine. I don't have any. I don't have many of those. Grenade affinity for eighty-seven. Oofa. Uh, there we go. Size sixty-five. There we go. Mining speed two point three ten size. Woo! All right. So this one's bad then. I see. Oh my god. Size 10, 2.3 mining speed. Aha! Wow, those are amazing. And it looks like Fuji rolled a second one on that one. I uh, probably don't need axing. So I do need picking on it still. Bonus durability. I didn't realize how many of these were terrible. <laughs> All right, let's reorganize them. Wow, so many of these are just really, 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 really bad. I'm learning. I didn't know this yesterday at how bad these were. 71 for durability is bad. 87 is bad. 84 is bad. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Hey, what's up, Mr. Gibberish? You can smelt these all down, is that correct? No. What do you do with bad jewels, chat? Do you do you put them in the vault recycler? What do I do with bad jewels? Where do bad jewels go? In the item recycler? Okay. Oh! Oh my god. Look at this. Time out. What's up, TQ? Wow, that's good stuff. All right, gemstone. The bad jewels go into timeout. Oh, yeah, that's also fair. I put you here. All right. Anyways, I was, I was separating. Oh, I have too much vault silver. I think anything, kind of feel like anything over 50 is just terrible. What do you think? Hammer size plus one, that's kind of spicy, except it gives axing. Hazel made a spreadsheet. Amazing. So I can't help but notice. I only have one picking. <laughs> All right. How do we do here? That's like multiple. That's probably fine. Barely fine. Forty nine for axing is probably terrible. I think that's like the only other axing I have. All right, so what did I keep? Fifty five shoveling. Ugh. <laughs> is that the only shoveling I have? So if I wanted, okay, hold on. Forty four. Let's do the bare minimums here. Plus 10, plus 10, plus 55, plus 44, 
plus 34. I could actually do, I could actually do all of this onto this hammer. So this hammer would have way more mining speed and copiously and picking and shoveling and an extra 500 durability. I think that's not bad considering I've only been running two days of trying to get jewels, you know? What do you think? I think that's a decent for our first ever hammer. In theory, I could also throw axing on this. It has capacity of 70. Boom, 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 boom. Jewel building is a pain. It's kind of fun. I don't know. I like this better than the previous system. I like, I dislike the previous system of picks enough that I just literally never use them. Yeah, if I make this axe in, I can just drop this axe and that lets us just have the uh, the hammer on our hotbar if we ever need it. How's my magnet doing? 50%? Yeah, all right. Everyone is basically, I'm interpreting your silence to mean you all think I'm a genius. So let's go ahead and uh, and do this. So another thing that I need is I need to go grab I need to go grab books. Previous system was just throw steel into the volcano until RNG gave you a couple sockets. Yeah, of course we think you're a genius. Oh shucks, you shouldn't have. Boom, 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 boom. Don't forget you need chest affinity for the axe or else it'll go super slow to break chests. I don't break chests. I loot chests, so I don't need it. You would be correct, however. That's not the way I loot. There, now they're mad at me. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, boom, boom. Hey! Anybody got any biscuits burning a hole in their pocket? And they want to name Hammer Time over here? What are we going to name our first ever Hammer Chat? For the low, low price of biscuit, <laughs> we're going to name it a cup of beans. <laughs> oh, sorry, Ink Slayer. A little too slow. A little too slow. <laughs> However, what else do I have on me? I don't know. I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what, Ink Slayer. I'm gonna rename my classic Silky, I never do this, into Hammer Hammer. You cool with that, Ink Slayer? Or do you want a refund? I need a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Yeah, also, check out how it's all different now. So since we're adding axing to it, it's become an, an pick axe. And our hammer, Kind of looks weird. <laughs> I don't know how else to describe it, you know? Very cool. Well... What do you think? Another? After all, why shouldn't I? Wait! What goes here now? I don't even know what to do with all of this stuff. I guess I could do this. 
maybe <laughs> this pouch for pickering access I just worry if I have the pouch there. Being able to accidentally right-click and open an inventory in my hotbar is probably going to kill me more than help me. And besides, we only need to pick a rank for one room, and that room's an Omega. Where we're not exactly pressed for time, so no. I think this is fine. I think this is fine. All right, so what we're probably going to do here, let's do one more vault. And then after said vault. Right, I didn't actually set any new whatever. Any new filters? Not using compass? Yeah, I don't have it unlocked. Probably gonna do one more vault and then take a, a short lunch break. Oh my god, yes! Oh, I'm so happy. We can get our bounty done. Oh, this is incredible. Uh, we need 30 more drowned. Wait, what's our first room here? Our first room is a Western? Oh, it's a shop. <laughs> I don't carry money on me. Uh, please remember that we are north facing. This is a mining room. Right, crap. I don't have uh, I don't have my mob sounds on. Now. <gasps> Echo! I was really hoping it would have duplicated. Could you imagine if we hit like the 3% copiously chance on that? This is so huge for us. This is just like... Huge. <laughs> oh, I can't stop smiling! Everything's coming up, Jaeger. All right. How doable is this scav? I don't even care. Because I'm not even here to scav. I'm just here to um, kill Drowned and have a good time. I mean, maybe it's doable? But it's so, like, low priority for me right now. I mean... Alright, let's talk. Probably the hardest part is the Cracked Pearls. I don't know. I do not agree this is very doable. We need the Omega from Cracked Pearls, and I don't have a coin grabbing tool. So I would say this is a very, very, very low percentage completion one. Because we need Omega both from Wooden, and we need Omega from Coin Piles. Wow, 
Listening to a little uh, Childish Gambino last night. The little luck? Well, no, we don't. You can't factor in luck when you ask yourself to evaluate something. Right? You're like, what are my chances of doing this? Well, if I'm lucky. No, no, no. You gotta, you gotta look the cold, hard facts in the eye. I mean, with a little luck, I can find an echo. Every ore pile. See, it doesn't doesn't quite work. All right. Actually, if you want to talk about luck, you know where we need luck. With a little luck, Fuji can double that echo. That's the luck I'm talking about. You know, so fast, sir. All right, we want to give ourselves at least five minutes at the end to just farm to drown. Ow. Ooh. Ooh. Man, this snow. That is so much black opal. What? And another one? Oh my god. Which way am I going, chat? This way. We are north facing. Please remember north facing. About 20 more drowned. Where's all this opal coming from? My overwhelming RNG powers. We're Christopher Nolan facing. Thank you. Every time I fall in powdered snow, I wish there was an enchantment just called snow walking. Is this vault trapped? What is happening here? No, it's just chunky. I don't understand. Got stuck in the snow fighting a polar bear. And it's the worst. Gonna be honest, I don't hate the snow vault. I'd heard um I'd heard that these were pretty unpopular, but this isn't bad. That's so rude. See, that had nothing to do with the snow. Did I? All right, let's see if we can get extremely lucky. <laughs> Signs point to no.
There are vault bears. Not in every vault. Just polar bears. Luckily, their hitboxes make sense. Yeah, every unique biome has an unique enemy. So, like, desert biomes are the only ones that have creepers and so on and so forth. Right. So we get drowned. Instead of skeletons, we get strays. And the special rare mob, instead of spiders or slimes, is polar bear. And everybody clapped. I wonder what mob essence polar bears drop. Probably black, in my guess. We got our first thread, one of two. Uh, I think we can just skedaddle. Oh, there's living down there. Never mind. I think I've maybe made a mistake. No. Are so many enemies near me? Is this spawner still alive? The one I don't need is living. Yet here we are. Am I in powdered snow? I am in powdered snow. Screwed. It looks like there's a dungeon in the center. I don't think I really need to go mess with that. Bye forever. Okay, that is too many mobs. Wait, hold on. Too many mobs, you say? There! <laughs> the bounty is complete! I am thrilled. Let's go. A GG. All right, now all we got to do is get paid. So we have an echo on us. We have a bounty complete that's going to get us an entire fresh key. I'm thrilled. I'm so happy. Pardon me. You have the Wraith Bounty, and since you took it, you can't get any more caves. Yep. Yeah. Vault Hunters, you know. Just Vault Hunter things.
Boom, 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 boom. We haven't gotten a lot of interesting rooms today so far. They've been basically... Other than Western rooms... Hold on, like, what have we had today? We've had four Western rooms in the same vault. This is a dead end here. Oh, this is another mining room, though. Dang, that was really close, and I'm gonna lose it. When babies are tanky. Well, we are in a chonky... Oh. It's a tier two baby. <laughs> Come on. Imagine a second echo. Can you imagine it, chat? Can you manifest that for me? Hey, Sir Garrett Cameron! Thank you for the 49 months of support. You're having an amazing day. Yeah, we need a second Echo and Fuji high rolls on both. Ooh, ooh. Sounds like a good time right there. Alright, we have nine minutes to start heading back. I've decided this vault is basically impossible. One, one thread? Yeah... That's okay. We have everything we wanted out of this already. Have we hit any Omega rooms today? I don't think we have. What's giving me a regeneration? My trinket. I have a regen trinket on. Lasts for 15 volts. God, chunky doesn't lie. When they say chunky, they mean they mean chunky. Oh, I heard a proc there. Like a heckin' chonker, yeah. Oh, we're talking, oh lord, he coming. <laughs> There's been a surplus of western rooms. Are those like omegas? No. Those are called challenge rooms. And they're trying to kill you. It's very rude, actually. So I believe this is our starting room. One more.
Right, the starting room was a shop. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, 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 you're correct, Green. Yeah, this is our starting room. We have six minutes. How many challenge rooms equals one Omega? Depends. Depends on the challenge room. Hey, good for Uno. Uno just completed a vault. Not getting a lot done. I feel like I've just kind of been running around the last 10 minutes and I haven't really looted anything. But then again, all the rooms have been very, very medium. Right? Can't hit me, I'm too fast. Oh my god, it actually worked. Dang it. sworn there's going to be another Omega down here. It's too bad. All right. Uh, I think it's about time that we hit the old dust to trail. You know, I don't think there's any reason to risk an echo. Yeah, we completed the bounty as well. Like, this has been very, very, very good. Yeah, no, no, I'm, I'm with you. I'm with you, Julia Mon. How many Gs? Is this like a GGG? We found stone. I'm proud of your definition of the sea. I was wrong. <laughs> what, pray tell, is your definition of the sea, Snurge? What does the sea mean to you? Ooh, another safe? Wait, can I not take this with me? Hello? My safe! What in the world? Have they made it so that safes are no longer lootable? You need a real pick for it? Wow. Okay. Guess old fake pick Jaeger isn't good enough for you. I like using the looms up there. That's actually very pretty. Take all these looms. All right.
Let's get some GG's, friends. GG. Wouldn't be a safe if you could just take it with you. That's fair. Oh, man. Oh, I'm so happy. Ah. Echo. My only regret is that we didn't randomly double it. <laughs> Slacking around here, I know. I know. Yeah, the new, um, our new looting system is excellent, by the way. I'm very pleased with it. I think we've made a solid improvement that has resulted in measurable increases in looting efficiency, in looting technology. <laughs> So, do trinkets just work in the overworld constantly, or no? How do trinkets work? Like, is there something you need to do? It, it looks like I have regen. That's kind of cool. Alright, I really need new... Um, New hat. Do I have enough to unlock belts? Uh, we already did. That's how we started the day. We started the day by unlocking belts. Using belts for a while now. Pew. There we are. This is our townie outfit. Look! Look upon our wealth today and tremble. This is a good haul. That's almost a thousand carbon. <gasps> right, I forgot to do this. Claim reward. Oh, are you ready? We got an entire treasure key from that. And it is Upaline. Upaline. All right, let's remember. When we're going through vaults in the future, that if we ever see the correct door, we loot it. Free key is so big. Well, let's start rolling our gear. Let's see all the sweet, sweet loot we got today. All right, let's start with all the scrappy stuff. So how much loot do we end up with today? We end up with 11 pieces of loot and a trinket. Wow. Number one. I can use a better weapon. I don't love the axe. It does a lot of damage, but I think I would prefer a sword. So what I'm saying is, uh, come on, sword. <laughs> Oh, it flashed Omega for just a second. Oh, that was so rude. That was so rude. Did you see it taunting us? All right, all the scrappy, terrible. Come on, uncommons. Expecting big things from you. Oh, oh, hey, hold on. Oh, I saw the gems in there. I was like, <laughs> 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 I 
Honestly, for half a second there, I thought that um, they changed that vault gear, smelted down into gems as well, and I was really confused. <laughs> Ooh, nine armor, five health boots. 13 armor, 2 health boots. Okay, alright. Well, well, unlikely. And those have lots of repairs left. I don't need to spend resources on it. My boots are fine. Twelve armor pants. Twelve armor pants. Mana regen? Mana regen. Saves me a repair core. And look at these. These pants will last forever. Look how much durability they have. So I'd lose healing efficiency and knockback resistance, but I would gain pants that just last a while. Nah, maybe those aren't good enough. All right, we can keep going. Those aren't them. <laughs> oh my god. All right, so far, 18% block chance though. Wow. So far, a little underwhelmed with what we've received. All right, rare shield. You're my last hope. Sixteen percent block chance, plus two health, soul bound, and slowness on hit. Sixteen percent block chance, though. Wow. What's up, insane cat? See you. I think this might be try worth trying to roll a little bit on. So let's look at our current one. Our current one is 12% block chance. And mainly the only reason we care about it is the healing cloud plus on hit. So if I could, um, you know, get a little lucky. Plus Healing Cloud on hit. That's just the tier 1 one. Let's see if we can't do better than that. <laughs> I mean... Healing Cloud 3 on hit, bonus durability, and max out tier 1 resistance. I think we have an upgrade. So that's a 4% improvement over healing. We have tier 3 Healing Cloud instead of tier 2 Healing Cloud. And it's got durability. That is just a straight upgrade. Let's go. Awesome. We got one piece of upgraded gear. We'll put the uh, flatter hammer into the box of memories. Now we still do have that trinket to roll. Fifty percent bonus mana. That's cool. I knew you were going to get that. I saw the future in my crystal ball. <laughs> All right, let's crack these relic fragments. Uh, two to the Twitch set. <gasps> Ooh, part of the mining set and another cupcake. Was that the last cupcake we needed? That's a mega duplicate. No, they're all dupes. That feels bad. I think the last thing we have to crack here are we've got the mod boxes, we've got the scrolls, and then we've got the uh, the other relic boosty packs. That's part of the Richity set. <gasps> there we go. That's new. All right. So they've nerfed mystery boxes, but there's a chance to get echoes.
Womp, 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 womp. And last but not least, the mod boxes, which I love and Fuji hates. Rabbit hide. What are you? Network cable. Rabbit hide. I'm sorry, is that just straight up an entire ME terminal? So an ME terminal costs a pog. <laughs> what? Yo, are you kidding me? That's one of the essential things we need to make a, a crafting terminal. Oh my God, that's so big. Man, Fuji says you never get anything good out of these. Hey, look, another villager. What are you? An ME export bus? Oh, that doesn't save us too much. It saves us a Fluix blocks and a Chromatic Steel ingot. Okay. Like, these are both huge gets. Like, wow. And then, rabbit hide and some more cable. I mean, I'm pretty thrilled with all of that. Where are my villagers again? Oh, they just chill. Great. All right. You can go in the system there. Those are some very good rolls. Some very, very, very good rolls. Wild West room, X marks the spot room. All kind of boring. All right, let's leave that for half a second because uh, my lunch is ready. All right, so here's the plan. I want to AFK anywhere? Not particularly. Here's the plan. Actually, yes, I'm going to AFK at the gold farm. <laughs> I got a delicious fried chicken sandwich. So let's hang out here for, I don't know, 10 or 15 minutes, chat about life, the universe, basically whatever we want. And after lunch break, I have a couple of different plans of things that we could potentially do. So I'd love your input when we, uh, when we get started on if we just want to do some chill building, we want to do some chill farming, basically, I don't know, we'll, we'll collaborate on that. So Joe went and picked up and we're sharing. It's a Korean fried chicken sandwich. This is specifically the soy garlic flavor. I need to go wash my hands. I'll be right back. Let's, uh, let's dig in. Alma, very sneaky with the half year, the 50 months. Appreciate that. How's everybody doing? What's up? What's new? What's good with everybody? Hmm. Some very good crunch here. What would you call the, the mytho-taxonomic group of creatures that are mostly human above the waist but have an animal below it, like centaurs, mermaids, lamia? How about halfies? Is that bad? Creature people. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if this is a setup or not. Hmm. Oh my god. What up, Nell, huh? What if it's convergent evolution? They're unrelated. Interesting. Just a series of coincidences. I like that. It wouldn't be Chimera. 
Because be, I believe Kamaira is supposed to be like multiple all in one. Is there like a special taxonomic guide for the supplement of D&D? Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. So I'm unhappy to report that the more we watched of Altered Carbon, the worse it got. Very disappointed. I was having a lot of fun with that show. Again, Altered Carbon, not very family friendly. It is a bang, bang, beep, beep on Netflix. So the premise of the show is that humanity has, through accessing through accessing alien technology, has solved death. Uh, they download your personality into a chip, and then they can install your chip into any body, which they call a sleeve. And then they, they basically set that up for like a very dystopian cyberpunk setting where the ultra-wealthy are functionally immortal and start acting like gods. Totally goes to their head, totally corrupts them, and the regular people suffer. And they took this really cool setting and then managed to get really boring. Like, it started great. The first five episodes were amazing. The second five episodes of season one are fine. Season two? Really bad. <laughs> season two has no soul. It's just like, what if we stripped out all the interesting questions and just made it a really crappy action movie and just focused on like, hey, look, everybody does a backflip every time somebody's fighting. But there's, like, no stakes. Yeah, the Poe character was amazing, Jobot agreed. I think we made it three episodes in the season two, and I think we're going to stop there. So the hook of season one is our main character is the last surviving member of a rebellion that wanted to basically overthrow this sort of very heavy top-down hierarchy of the wealthy being able to accumulate everything because they live forever. And then they basically wake him up from 250 years of cyber jail where like they leave him without a sleeve. And this ultra, ultra, ultra wealthy person hires him to basically find... It, it turns into a murder mystery where you have this person with a very peculiar set of skills, a very particular set of skills, who has to use all of their resources to uncover why this wealthy per person was killed. And at the same time, the B-plot, and it's not even necessarily the B-plot, is they tell the backstory of the rebellion and they tell... It's really interesting. They do like a bunch of world building at the same time. Like, this is how Stacks came to be. This is the world that it's built. This is why the Rebellion fought. This is how they ended up joining the Rebellion. And then, like, where their skills came from. And you're like, all right, that's interesting. That's compelling. They have a different outlook on it. And then the C plot is they have this, um, this police person who's, like, the only uncorrupt cop out there. Very driven very, very, very motivated. Basically wants to topple like the ultra wealthy but never has the resources to. And it's just like, who is this guy? And you're like, this is fascinating. And there's some amazing scenes in the game and some great acting in the game, pardon me, in season one. There's some amazing acting where the idea is any person can be put, like the body is just asleep. The personality is really up there. So for example, there's a scene for the... Um, the Day of the Dead. I'm not going to try to pronounce it in Spanish. Um, the police officer wants her grandma to come back. And she doesn't have the money to get a good sleeve. So she just puts grandma in... She puts grandma in the body of this like large tattooed male gangster. And so 
Yeah. You're like, this is so fascinating. And so there's all these members of the family, like the kids are like, grandma's here. And, you know, <laughs> right. And you're like, wow, that's just so neat. Right. Like people, what makes a person? Is it, is it here? Is it here? Right. Like, I was like, those are interesting questions. And mind you, it's all sort of being told through the lens of this kind of like psycho killer mystery guy. I don't know. Season two has none of that. <laughs> that was a great part of the season, right? Yeah. Erlios, thank you so much for 29 months. Season two is I'm mad and I'm going to kill everybody. And like, that's it. <laughs> that's all they have. I'm sad. I just want more interesting stories to watch. All right, my sandwich is done. I'm going to go wash my hands and then let's get back to the gaming. BRB. We're back. You started watching Demon Slayer? I bounced off that show and as soon as they introduced a character whose only personality was they screamed. I was just like, this is a really interesting show. <laughs> and then I was like, oh wait, no it isn't. Womp womp. All right, so I have a couple of things I want to work on here. And I would love your input as to what you want to see. We could use just some chill building because like the base definitely needs some more love. We could do some vanilla, some, some vanilla farm stuff because these are all things that I kind of want like a moss farm or a dripstone farm. Yeah, I definitely, <laughs> I definitely don't have an issue this season of like, oh man, what should I do? It's, uh, that's not the problem. Where did my sleeping bag go? Hello? I just put, there it is. Let's put all our ore away here while we figure it out. Wow, a hundred, two stacks. That's amazing. Good stuff. Yeah, sometimes you're playing a season and you're like, oh man, I've already done all the things that I want to do. What should I do now? And this one is just like, oh God, I still have so much I need to do. Really quickly, let's decide if we want to keep any of these. Stop. All right, so this is Gilded. Nah, if it's, if it's like 70, let's just get rid of it. Yeah, these are trash. 47 is probably bad too. Building sounds cool. It's been a while, right? So we could either start a new project or we could work on an old project. Oh. <laughs> the VA combo reminds me of one of my favorite games getting remastered and then the English dub made one of the protagonists talk in <laughs> Ooh, baby talk. 
<laughs> uh, sorry, sorry to laugh. <laughs> You're like, oh no. Actually, yeah, let's let's put this away real quick here. Yeah, we can do some random building. That can be kind of cozy. Oh, wait, right. There's one thing we want to do first. I want to get... I want to get uh, 22 ancient debris for this. That'll be fun. Hey, what's up, Sax? Item discovery, six pottery shard gets us 13 chromatic steel. That's not bad either. I'll take that after, but let's, let's complete this item submission first. And to do that, <laughs> we're just going to go mine in the nether. I actually really enjoy this. I find it super chill. Wait, before we head down, let's actually grab our waystone, or warp stone rather. So we can head back quickly if we need to. That work? Nice. Something very relaxing about a good old-fashioned strip mining. Yeah. Right? And if we use the fortune pick, we can sustain ourselves off of... Uh, you can see I've done a little bit of this down here. We can sustain ourselves off of the quartz when we find it, too. All right. Now we can do just straight up, like, I don't know, talk about anything. AMA, how y'all doing? What's new and exciting for you? You know what's new and exciting for me? Nothing. God, I've had such such a busy start to 2023. January and February have been wild how busy I've been. And this week, it's finally starting to calm down a little bit. And I'm really excited about that. Doing an escape room with friends tomorrow. Amazing. Yeah, it just finally feels like I'm hitting like a new normal or something like that. I don't know. Ooh, I could bring blackstone back. We have much blackstone in the base. I'm about to hit some lava, so let's turn to the side here a little bit. We haven't hit any quartz yet. That's interesting. One of my patients that I've had for a long time made a breakthrough. I'm very happy for them. I don't know what you do for work, Mr. Gibberish. But, like, obviously that sounds awesome. And I can I can make some assumptions. A magnet on? I do. What are all those entities on the map? Those would be blocks that I have not picked up. They're fine. They're just chilling. I'll despawn. <laughs> You're a psychologist. I'm super happy to hear about your long-term patient. That's very exciting. Once again, shocked by how smart this community is. Do I have any thoughts on the new vanilla biome? I love it. I'm kind of getting to the point now and I'm like, what would I use cork for? I mean, I guess cork dungeons are still kind of cool. Yeah, 1.20 seems very cool. 
I remember when 119 came out, we only played it for like two days. I wonder if 120 is going to be the return to like a big, big vanilla thing. I don't know. Would we go back to the old, would we go back to the old server? Kind of chill there for a bit? I don't even... I was apparently struggling to even log into it. Well, if we if we made a point, we'd figure it out. But yeah. What's up, Chronicler? I was talking with James about this, and one of the things that he's hoping, I'm kind of there with him, is that the existence of pink leaves might give us one of the things that we've always wanted, which is like autumnal leaves. Like yellow, orange, and red leaves. We haven't found any ancient debris yet. Uno needs to get something off his chest. I would like to remind you of crate depression, just in case you forgot what has been. What? to the point where Minecraft is a game that I understand but I don't really play. It's so much better with friends. Hey, there we go. Found some ancient debris. One. We need 22, by the way. Oof. Just the one. Unlucky. Head over to this lava so we can dump our inventory. Pickering is still a good reason to get Quark. Yeah, like some of the Quark dungeons are really interesting. I don't like the blocks that Quark adds. But I feel like 118 world generation is already so good that like you don't really even need Quark for that anymore, you know? Sombrero is amazing. Thank you. Fashion is the true end game. Spoken like a true Final Fantasy 14 player. I thought that was true of all MMOs. You can think about Quark as you can turn off each individual feature on and off. Mod pack sets it all by default. Oh no, yeah, for sure. <clears throat> it's just like, at a certain point, if you're grabbing a mod but disabling most of the features, maybe there's an alternative, you know what I mean? It's funny that we're talking about vanilla and then suddenly we're like, but what of Surgecraft 3? <laughs> 4! Man, we're on Surgecraft 4. Or we would be. I think we'd be going back to magic with the next Surgecraft. Now, what if it was just create an Ars Technica? Just nothing but conveyor belts and little magical bunny rabbits. Oh, there we go. We found some more. All right. We're at two. Just a single again. Very rude. Very rude. By the way, just watch the moniker and what on earth you're talking about. Good job, Surge. Man, those were fun streams. 
I learned so much more about Moniker. So the first time I had to give Clue on Moniker, for whatever reason in my head, I was under the impression that you could only give the hint once. And if they didn't get it, you had to pass. So like the my very first round is actually quite weak. Because as soon as as soon as people sort of missed on it, I was like, ah, oh, whatever, let's just find another one. And we ended up getting like zero points. And then as soon as I realized I'm like, oh, I can just talk constantly. Then uh then things got better. Maybe I shouldn't have started. <laughs> Uh, let's get some more lava going here. Oh, hello, we have friends. <laughs> triangle, triangle, triangle. <laughs> yeah. Uh, excellent, thank you. Thank you for coming to my uh, little lava sale here. Very good. It's actually one of the tags I try and avoid in light novels, Mr. Gibberish, but you're not wrong. Alright. Alright, Ancient Debris. I don't like you. You don't like me. Actually, that's not true. I'm kind of fond of you. It's also very funny that in the vaults you get every different form of netherite except for the ancient debris, but I guess that's why they ask you for that particular one for this quest, right? Turn in a bunch of ancient debris. This bounty. Alright, so real talk. When we're done here, what do you want to see? Should we make a farm or should we um, just do some chill building? Ancient debris uses decorations in vaults? Not that I've noticed, but also I'm not often incentivized to grab ancient debris as a result. Speaking of light novels, can I recommend a few? Sure! I'm reading five currently, but always interested in more stuff. Yeah, maybe we just make a dripstone farm. The issue is I don't know where I'd put it, and if I want to make it, I'd want to put it in something. Maybe we need to make a big industrial area. We could put a super smelter in there and some of the other farms. Supremacy games or mech touch? I think I bounced off supremacy games super hard. Uh, because the author is a little childish. Like, is supremacy games not the one that literally starts off with a person screaming my butt is bleeding? I think I, I read that the first time. I read those the, the starting words and I was just like, I'm out. And then I saw that it was like the number three ranked novel on one of the sites that I like to read. And I was like, maybe I'll give it a second try. And then I read three or four chapters the second time and I was like, oh no, this is still just insufferable. I imagine it has to get better in order for it to be as popular as it is, but it's still, I don't know. I still find it, I hate to, I hate it when people say, um, suffer through this, it gets better at X point. And I've done that too. I've definitely done that too to other people, but I still like, you know what I mean? Why can't something just be good the whole way through? Uh, I haven't heard of mech touch though. 
the full first arc is rough. It honestly, like the way they they characterize the main character. I mean, it says a lot about the. Um, I mean, I guess it's just the author, <laughs> right? Ever read a book and think to yourself, "Who okayed this?" Oh, all the time. All the time. So many light novels I read are like, don't worry, it gets good after 130 chapters. Ugh. That's just so rough, though. You know what I mean? <laughs> I don't want to wait that long. Ever heard the saying, all killer, no filler? What happened to that, you know? My partner's working on a novel. We take a lot of comfort in the fact of like, hey, if this got published, we're fine. <laughs> Oof. Uh, but so true. The worst is when novels have really good side chapters, but the main story is mediocre. I mean, my issue is I'm a busy guy. I don't have time to slog through garbage to get to good stuff. What's Mech Touch about? What's the other one? There's a, um, it's one of those, they play a video game at the video game, the video game is the real world or whatever called like the great, the great machinist or something like that. The premise of that one is somebody gets isekai into a video game. <laughs> they get isekai into a video game into the past. And so they have, they have all of the knowledge of being somebody who's like really, really, really good at the game. It's called the Great Machinist, Great Mechanic, something like that. Somebody help me out. It's like one of the top ten, the Legendary Mechanic, maybe. Yeah, it's like top ten on most of the big like online light novel aggregators, you know. Somebody was asking what this is. I have no idea. It's a mod. I don't need, so I ignore it. Probably Legendary Mechanic. That was fun. I read the first couple of arcs to that one. And kind of enjoyed my time. Hey! Bear, 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 bear! Oh my god, it's only a single one again. Wow, that's really unlucky. They typically spawn up to... I think it's... Max roll is four. So to have um, a one roll three times in a row is quite unlucky. Finding something good the whole way through is is a pretty high bar. It shouldn't have to be. Oh, oh, hey. We got two this time. Oh my god. I didn't know you could have baby pig jockeys. Yo, what? Get back here. Can't attack me and then simply leave. Why no bed blast mining? Why bed blast mining? You only do it early if you don't have access to an experience farm. I don't think it's faster than this. Maybe TNT could be slightly faster. But I don't really have the resources for TNT. We don't have a Joe to craft it for us. Joe is the dynamite queen last season. No giant Fuji tunnel boring machine. I think I think Hazel actually has a machine that just prints ancient debris. But also just like a like go burr, you know? Sometimes it's a little therapeutic to just chill.
I thought about maybe a bit of science as a treat. Takes a while to set up though. Oh. Way. I think our inventory is probably full again. Yeah. To the lava. Uh, that was a lot of netherrack we had under us there. That's kind of funny. If I just shouted science, you think it'd work? All right, Mech Touch is heavy sci-fi future intergalactic fights using mechs. Main the main characters from a family of pilots can't become a pilot, so makes them instead. Oh, interesting. Good if you like more crafting-focused novels. I definitely do. There aren't, there aren't enough good, I mean, I think, maybe this is kind of tropey, but my favorite kind of crafting novels are alchemy. Love a good alchemy novel. And so many of them get sidetracked. But yeah, what, what was the other one? I shall shatter the heavens, I shall sh seal the heavens. That's some good alchemy content. I'm reading um, Eternal Cultivation of Alchemy right now, which is pretty good. All right, can we find some quartz so we can keep the pick going here? All right, pick, you're getting kind of dangerously low. I think, I think I'm gonna have to go back. It's too bad. All right, well, we're just under 50%. That's okay. God, it's so loud. <laughs> I love novels where the main character runs an arrow field and goes super in-depth on it. Yeah, my first... I think I've talked about this before. My introduction to light novels was the legendary Moonlight Sculptor, which was also, man, all the tropes. My first light novel was also like one of the video game ones where people in the real world go and play video games and then, you know, profit. And the whole premise of that one is the main character discovers a hidden class of artist. And, you know, they go around, they go around making art. <laughs> they, they, they also become like a super powerful necromancer or something like that. But the heart of it, the heart of it all is art. They make sculptors. They make sculptures, sculptors. They are a sculptor who makes sculpture. I always thought that was interesting. One of your first was also Mo the Moonlight Sculptor. Yeah, it may have just been around the same time. So what am I reading right now? I'm reading Shadow Slave, which is actually amazing, start to finish. I really, 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 really enjoy that one. I'm reading uh, Eternal Cultivation of Alchemy, which is fine. I'm reading... Uh, there's one I'm reading right now, which is kind of fun. My biggest issue is it takes too long between updates. So I'm probably going to end up dropping it just because I like... Haha! -ha! I'm probably going to end up dropping it just because I need... I'm just going to forget what happens. But it's called The Legendary Assassin Reincarnates Inside of a Swordsman or something like that. 
You're like, oh my god, what a mouthful of a title. And it's good! It's good, it's fun, but it... Sure is taking its sweet time for the updates. Your first was Tales of Gods and Demons. Kind of a classic. That's one that was... I think they turned it into an anime as well. That one had like a very fun premise and just kind of... Kind of lost its focus over time. Another singular one. Brutal. Lilith! Oh my god. Thank you for seven months of tier 2 support, friend. Happy Surge Day. Thank you. Every day is a happy Surge Day. Oh! Oh! There we go. Are we ever going to get more than two? Signs point to no. Alright, we're literally at the halfway point now. Remember that time we were doing vanilla science? And I accidentally threw my ender chest. And we had to walk back. That was a good time. We had to walk all the way back to our portal. Because we couldn't fly. Because all of our rockets were gone. And we didn't have our elytra. Because we had the uh, science armor on. Oh. I'm reading a novel where the main character is researching magic and is basically a textbook on quantum mechanics disguised as a novel. There's, yeah, there's some neat ones that aren't super action heavy. Um, what was it called? Journeys of a Mortal. It's like Chronicles of a Journey's Mortal's Journey to Immortality or something like that. And it's just like a really nice slow paced one as somebody just tries to like study magic. They're never super overpowered they don't feel like they have super plot armor on it's just like yeah this is just a story of a person who wants to be a cultivator it's kind of cool oh chipped jewel oh legendary jewel who no A lot of lava in that direction. Let's go this way where there's less lava. Now that we have all this extra bag space, maybe I should start bringing some vault platinum with me. So we can maybe buy things at the vaults. Reminds me of talking about prog rock. Yeah, Cohen and Cambria's first album, second stage turbine. It's neat. I have a soft spot. Oh, you're just reminding me of, yeah, whenever people talk about niche stuff. I remember hanging out with a buddy and talking about Magic the Gathering. And his girlfriend just looked at us and he was just like, it doesn't even sound like English. Because <laughs> the problem with Magic is a lot of the cards are also, you know, not necessarily nouns or possibly even like a turn of phrase, so it doesn't make sense in a sentence. Yeah. Wait, Orange Celtic with a brand new Prime. What's up, friend? Thank you very much. Appreciate the support. Hope you're having a great day. All right, let's let's uh, let's melt all of this down. This is taking slightly longer than I thought it would. <laughs> Who was 
was it who got an entire netherite beacon in vanilla? Was it Pixel Rifts? It was Pixel Rifts, yeah. How long did that take him? Was that on Empires? Or was that just like a random like thing that he just did to challenge himself? Oh, interesting. Jevin and ZF have it too. I thought ZF. I know ZF has the wall of all. He wants a beacon of every material. I thought he very specifically... I thought ZF very specifically wasn't going for ancient debris in this one. That was for a survival guy, not Empires, right? I need specifically ancient debris for a bounty, Sari. Not the uh not the other components. I'm mining a day late for a heart for Valentine's Day. Can you find hearts in the nether? It's news to me. All right, I'll tell you what. We'll go out of this until this pickaxe is dead and then we'll ask Hazel very nicely <laughs> for the remainder. Hey, what's up friends? Welcome everybody. How's it going, Will? You're having a cozy day? Come to a little bit of uh, Vault Hunters. I am hunting for the most elusive prey Ancient debris. Oh, thank you for the 11 months of support, too. How are you? What's up? What's new? What's happening? Stop it with the fire. What'd you get up to today? Welcome, everybody. A little bit of Canadian content over here in our corner of the internet. My magnet not on? Yes explain why I'm not picking up the blocks. I have a bounty in which I need to gather 22 ancient debris. And I thought it would be very chill. Just kind of vibe. And mine it all. But then I've been doing it for 30 minutes. So I might just go and buy some. We have a little market district on this here. SMP. We did vault and overhauled my storage system. Also got started on create. That's a big day, dang. I did um, four very good vaults today so far. I've got an echo as well as some other stuff. And we're gonna spend the rest of the day, the rest of the stream, I got a couple more hours to go. Maybe just doing some chill building. I want to do some walls. I want to do some medieval walls. Ah, or maybe farms? Crap, I can never make up my mind. You finished a legendary bounty? Oh, man. I haven't gotten one of those yet. All right, chat. What do you What do you say? Should we... Should we just buy it? Can we just buy it? I mean, we just did like a whole bit there and got muffin, absolutely muffin. Ooh. To the gold farm. Wait, did I already? <laughs> I mean, that's one way to repair a pick, right? I suffered through trying to mine ancient debris myself last week. Bounty was giving me echo gems, so no way I'm passing it up. That's fair. You're assuming Hazel's mechanism? Hazel has everything. 
everything. <laughs> like, Hazel is so good at Vault Hunters. Well, she didn't respond, so... Oh, wait. Uh, actual Ancient Debris. Yeah, she's currently level 65. She gaming. <laughs> Don't call me out in front of strangers. Oh, we found the gamer in chat, have we? Well, 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 Ray, where's my ancient debris? <laughs> yeah, so I mean, some big updates for people who haven't been here in a while. Uh, we have gotten, check this out, some applied energistics online, which is very exciting. Ram bought Minecraft just to play Vault Hunters? Sick. Alright, Hazel's going to save us. A2's your favorite mod? Heck yeah, Aspen. So, this is the Fuji Tech area. Oh, this is new. Maybe he's specking out where some more drawers are going to go. So, this is our storage system. This is really interesting. So, we've got our system broken up into a couple different layers. One, this is deep storage. So this is blocks that we have a bunch of that we want to keep out of the drives just because they might accumulate huge amounts. Down a layer, we have auto crafting and auto crafting goes into spruce or birch in this particular case. So we make a bunch of these particular ones and this has a different priority. So what will happen is when you pull, it'll pull from deep storage and then it'll pull from auto crafting. So it'll always replenish it, but they're like, this way, if you need to put stuff back into the system, there's room and it doesn't void. It's actually very sophisticated because my, my partner in crime, Fuji, is a genius. And then we have another wall, which is just specifically for uh, vault ingredients. And the end goal here is anytime we need to auto craft something, it'll create up to a certain amount. Like this will be the holding amount just for what the vaults need. And then it'll auto craft to fill, to like backfill behind that. So again, if you deposit stuff over the top, it'll go into overflow or into digital storage and otherwise, yeah, otherwise cover that. <laughs> All right, Hazel's gonna hook us up. So she said 16 shards for one. Uh, quick, somebody who's good at math. What's 11 times 16? Hundred and seventy-six. Now somebody do the command of stacks a hundred and seventy of hundred and seventy-six. So what is that? What's the remainder? Forty-eight, thank you. There we go. Hello! Welcome back! Thank you. How are you? I'm good. I got a new sword. Oh, yeah. Can you it's... linky linky? What are we looking at here? We're looking at a sword with 48.5 damage. Good lord. <laughs> tier 3 durability. Oh my god. Plus 3 <laughs> chaining. Good lord. Also, it's huge. Yeah, that's why I liked it. It's because it's just absolutely massive. I hit level 65, which means, um, like, I got new tier for tools and armor and weapons. Oh. So I'm actually at 91 armor now. Uh, I'm not wearing anything. <laughs> All right. I can tell you what I've got because I've got this very fine sombrero on instead. <laughs> it looks good on you. Thank you. It's because the pants match. I can see that. That's the, what, the druid leggings. I think. Yes. <laughs> yes. yes, they are. I knew that. Well, thank you. Well, once again, you've no saved problem. me. Oh, no problem. Anytime. Okay, bye. <laughs> Have a good one.
That felt a little rough about multiplying by 16 and dividing by 64, but that's fine. Right, Reese? Man. Math. Am I right? All right. So now we get to do this. Give the table 22 ancient debris. We grab this mostly because it has a fundamental foci. Seems like a good one to get. What do we have here? Complete any vault. Uh, seems bad. This one seems fine because it gives chromatic steel. I think we'll, I think we'll actually accept and then cancel this one because I don't know if I'm going to run another vault today. We'll have a new one for tomorrow. Look at that. That's only our second fundamental foci. Okay, so let's talk. Did we say I was going to make a farm or am I going to build a wall? I can't remember. <clears throat> Honestly can't remember. Make a wall farm? That's tough. This is where somebody shouts canal and I look at you disapprovingly. <laughs> oh, we have so much building that we're just falling behind on. No gutter! I got in ahead of you. How dare you? All right. You know what the first thing I'm going to do? I need a warm-up activity because I haven't done any building in a very long time. And I'm going to do something that I saw. And actually, I think this is Pixel Riffs who did this. Uh, we need some andersite. And then we need some bricks. And then we actually need some mossy bricks. I do want to make a moss farm. Cute buildings, they're getting there. Silky, yeah. So, I don't remember exactly how... This is on the Empire server on the bridge. I think it's just X's. I don't know if it's flying V's or something like that. There's this beautiful, there's these like very beautiful subtle patterns in there. And one of the things that really finishes it is there's like a little bit of this every now and then in it. So as you're moving through it quickly, I don't know, it just, it's very subtle. It's a little bit louder than I thought it was going to be, because when you look at it, when you look at it in, um, in their world, it doesn't really stand out as much. Need to find a video of, you know, you know who did show it off? It's um, Solidarity. So where is Solidarity? There's Solidarity. And there is the one where he... Confronts. Found the black market. Okay, good. Maybe I did it wrong. Yes, okay. So here we go. No. So yeah, there you go, right? This is what I'm talking about. It's got this beautiful, beautiful pattern. And maybe the reason it doesn't look as good on mine is because I did an X and they didn't do an X, they did this. Right? And then they've got little patches. Little patches, look when they get closer there. Well, too far. Yeah, little patches of just cobbly bit there. So it is just, oh, you know what helps smooth it out? Glow lichen. 
Glow lichen. All right, so I found part of the problem. Part of the problem is I made it look ugly. <laughs> uh, so what I need to do is not this. Hey, what's up, Mr. Sarkhan? Thank you very much for 54 months. You believe Pixlr spilled the bridge? Yeah, I just couldn't remember what episode that was in, which is why I went and um, I just remember specifically an episode where Jimmy was on the bridge, which made it a little bit easier for me to find. So where do we, how do we, how do we, Huminima? Okay, so at no point does it ever actually connect there. So I'm already making mistakes is what I'm learning here. Or am I? Well, maybe I do. Maybe I do my own version inspired by. Also, I think the scale of his bridge is just so much larger than ours. So, so that'll happen too, you know. This will be a build heavily inspired by Pixel Rifts. But somewhat different. Because I think this is also just smaller. Like, what do you think the distance across on that thing is? You can count. One, two, three, four, five, presumably six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. It's probably fifteen across, and mine is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, yeah. It's a completely different scale, right? Oh, it looks so good. Oh my God. Well, <laughs> oh no. Well, we're doing it forever now. Oh, wow, what a difference that makes. Crap. Oh, it looks so good. <sighs> Dang it. All right, and so finally, the last piece of the puzzle there is, of, of course, the glow lichen. So I need glow. I need bone. I need shear. <laughs> Good luck, have fun. <laughs> Oh, crap. What if I... Hold on. Aha! Breaking the metal wide open. is probably good enough for now. And anyways, what you do here, because currently that stone is too loud, right? You, you soften it. You soften it with the glow lichen. Ah, oh, God. He's so smart. 
Maybe have a little bit off it. Just like a little bit like that. How does that look? Just kinda just kinda break it up a little. Yeah, like... Gah! <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, man. Well, this is my life now. We found something super pretty. Let's put it everywhere. One, two, three. One, two, three. So, hold on. No, that's wrong. Dang. One, two, three. So I think I want to do this first. And then we can do the we can do the triangles after, right? Yeah, like this. Yeah. There we go. Okay, I got a plan. One, two, three. I like how my thoughts were, hey, I'm either going to make a farm or a wall. <laughs> either or. And yet, here we are. road is kind of like a horizontal wall. You're not wrong. Well, maybe a little. <laughs> uh, <laughs> one, two, three. I wonder how this is going to end. Like, I wonder if this is going to line up perfectly for us, if we're going to somehow have to extend this road or shorten this road. You know what? I was trying to figure out where a wall would go. And well, well, well. It isn't the end of the road. Coincidence? Absolutely. Remember that there's an air canal underneath every hollow wall. It's true. It's true. That is that is just in fact true. All right, hold on. One, two, three. I would like to just see where this winds up. No, there's no chance it's off by one. It might be actually just the most perfect thing you've ever seen. That's actually really nice spacing. I wanted to like mix in some other stuff there. That's so good. I'm actually really happy with that spacing. Yeah, Barbarian, like... 
I don't know. What did Uno get? Legendary knockback babooties. A lot of getting a lot of legendaries over there, Uno. More like legendary Uno, am I right? I'm so happy we're finally doing something with this promenade. I don't know. It's pretty rare for me to start this many builds and not really finish anything. But, you know, Vault Hunter is going to Vault Hunter sometimes. Well, now that I know there's a center point, we, like, obviously have to move this torch, right? Like, bam, that goes without saying. Getting distracted. Yeah, distracted is best ba one big part. Also, just, like, just busy. Just always feels like there's stuff to do. Ah, probably a little bit of distracted, let's be real. <laughs> All right, so now what we can do is we can go through. Ow. We can go through and we can add some more of these details, which I think are just really cool. Right? I feel like I'm just making, like, Nike swishes everywhere. <laughs> yeah, just, just a big old swoosh everywhere, eh? in the glow like it makes such a huge difference eh oh well so much for our view at night oh my god look at our promenade Look what we have here. 
it isn't something that looks half decent. <laughs> It's a pretty pro promenade. Putting the pro into promenades is what this channel is all about. <laughs> uh, farm? Farm. Oh, I'm full. That's why I can't grab it. I guess I didn't actually need that mossy brick, but that's fine. Did its best. Alright, so if I were to build an industrial district... Where would I put it? I know Fuji's going to want it kind of nearby so that we can put it into um, the storage room directly, any of the outputs. And I've got this super smelter down here. What if I did just put it right here? You know, kind of down by the docks, right? So one of the things that I want to do for this is I want to make all of this feel kind of like a cohesive city. And I don't quite know how I'm going to do that. Is the super smelter permanent? I mean, I don't have an alternative. Also, hi, Fuji. It's the only way I know how to smelt stuff. Hey, what's up, Heron? So if I build a big old wall right here, oh, by the way, Fuji, Fuji, how much do you know about today? Oh, this always looks like a rubber duck to me too, or like a chocobo. <laughs> yeah, constantly mama tats. What do you know about today, Fuji? This is important. I have things to show off. I'll say nothing despite having watched the whole VOD. Great. We got... An echo for smashing. We're getting up to that number 16. And you always make fun of me for liking mod boxes. And yet, whatever, I'll just type Emmy. And yet, today I got both an Emmy export bus and, where's the other one? And an Emmy terminal in mod boxes. That saved us a bunch of stuff. I don't know, I'm pretty happy about that. An entire Emmy terminal? Dude, did you see I got a compacting draw on Monday? Out of a mod box? We have an entire compacting drawer for your compacting needs and or dreams. You know, just saying. One word off from Emmy Crafting Terminal. Hey, it's a start. Because previously, you couldn't access anything, right? Well, now look at you. Hold on. Uh, and what's the cable called? Uh, I need... What are, you, what are you called? Emmy Smart Cable. Smart. We don't have any smart cables. Uh, wait, we don't have any smart cables? Whatever, you can fix that for yourself. Now we don't have to move it back and forth because we have a terminal for both sides. It's downstairs. Taking all of the smart cables, I see. What a guy. Pew. Bam. Huh? Anyways, I digress. So we're looking at this area here, and I want to make an industrial area. 
so the problem is I can't picture how I want this to work without knowing how the rest of the city is going to work. So what if we just draw it? So I know I want to do wall, wall, because I think that'll look really slick. And then we probably want to have tower, 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 tower. But then what, right? Do I want to do... Oh, of course there's going to be a gate. Yeah, actually I was thinking of leaving it open. So in, who has seen, oh my goodness, what's that show called? Uh, the Willow TV show. That's a detail I'm not too worried about. Uh, Willow TV show. Uh, city, what's that city called? The Immemorial City. Hmm. There's not a very good shot of it, but there's this beautiful city and it's open. And actually at the entrance, they have statues and just a giant open door, which I think is really cool, but that's not quite there. So the, the issue I'm having here is I don't know what would look better. I don't know if I want to do just, oops, that's the wrong line. I don't know if I want to just do like straight wall, right? That just sort of connects there with a bunch of random towers. Because if you do straight wall and then tower. It's almost okay if it's lower here because there's water, right? Water for commerce or whatever. We have a tower there overlooking it. Like, I don't know if that makes sense. Or if I'm supposed to do wall, like this sort of meandering wall that, that follows it like a key and then connects into the side, right? Both have their pros and cons. This one is going to be significantly easier to build and decorate. I just don't know if it'll look good is the thing. I think straight wall look good. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Think straight wall look good? So anyways, if that's the case, then what we can do is then we can start zoning, right? And we can be like, this is the industrial district. And then like over here is other large building. And you know, and we've got a bunch of like statues or whatever that go along the promenade are, you know, just random thoughts. So are you on team straight wall or windy wall? Always a fan of wall following coast for a defensive mindset. I mean, even if you cross the water, you still have to get up, but yeah. It would involve a lot of terraforming. It's just like so much harder to make that look pretty in Minecraft if you want to add any sort of detailing to the walls, because then you're building like defensive stuff. But I think, I think this is just as defensible as that side. So like, what do they do if they cross the water, right? You like straight on one side, winding on the other? No. Well, definitely gets harder on this side because of the shape, right? On team, build stuff inside first, but you kind of need to have an idea, like where is inside, right? 
If you don't know where the walls are going to go, you don't know where inside is. And I don't want it to crowd the road. Momotats is also on Team Winding Wall. Mm hmm. Hmm. It can be a bit more elaborate with the detail if you keep the wall simple and straight. Exactly. This this ends up being a lot more beautiful. And this wall, here's the other problem. This wall is going to be perfectly straight because of the canal, right? Like this wall follows the water and will be straight. So then we're going to have a perfectly straight wall and then a weird windings wall. And I think a, a, a winding wall does look better in real life, but might not, might not look better in Minecraft, because keep in mind, everything is blocky, right? So I, I'm worried about being able to pull this off in Minecraft specifically. I think I have the idea. I think I think I know what I want. I think I want the straight wall. I think I'm just trying to sell y'all on this idea now. I mean, there are people who can do very cool walls as well and i mean for that just look no further than good times with scar but mind you even though the wall that he did in his most recent episode which is stunning by the way i i guess spoilers so this wall also has a flat plane which is really interesting so this wall how do we get closer this wall curves in a couple of interesting ways. Like I believe it, um, I believe it, it curves up, but it also like fish bowls out a little bit, which is kind of neat. Or to get a better view of that wall. Scar is just built different, yeah. But like, there's an example too of you can get patterns and you can make it work, but this isn't an organic shape either. Like this is very, very, very deliberate in how it works. Like it's a, it's a um, calculated shape. So you can do interesting non-straight patterns, but this is the sort of thing that you can do if you do give yourself room to detail, right? Like if you want to have mathematically repeating numbers like this, like that counts down, you can't do that on an organic shape. I think winding wall will look better. Much more of a pain to do. Uh, a winding wall will make certain things impossible to do. Just like straight up. Unless you kind of hard compromise it. So like if we wanted to do a winding wall, oops, we'd also have to commit to terraforming the shoreline to follow the shape of the wall. I don't want to do that. I did that a little bit here. We ended up ignoring it anyways. So if we did team straight wall, what would our wall even look like on this side, though? That's the other issue. <sighs> like, does it just end up looking like this? Actually, I don't hate that. Right? You just kind of pick a point. It's like not the worst, right? And there's no reason we then can't come down into these areas and do interesting stuff. I don't hate this idea, honestly. This is a little weak, I think. I can maybe even bring that wall out further. The wall is kind of flush with that bay. My local McDonald's is a herringbone floor pattern. Be really careful vein mining in your McDonald's ropes. 
<laughs> also, what's up, ropes? Yeah, the block also gives us some interesting areas for um, districts, absolutely, right? Which is kind of cool. Like, there's no reason we can't take this whole area and just raise it up a couple of blocks. I want these walls to be tall, by the way. Like, 15 blocks tall. Maybe that's not that tall. Especially if we just looked at the Good Times of Scar video where his walls are, like, <laughs> like 50 blocks tall. But 15 will be very tall. If you look at it in comparison to, like, how tall is this? Oh, I mean, I guess this gets pretty high up, right? So, like, this is 67. And this is 82. Oh, that's 15. So the walls would be as tall as sort of the top of the promenade off to the sides. It's kind of cool. Gives us the potential for some like bridges and stuff like that, right? So when you look down at the walls, they'd be as high as this. So you're kind of looking into them, but not necessarily over them. What a coincidence. Oh, look at this road at night, by the way. Look at it! I love that. All right, so first thing I need to do, I need to save this photo. The plan, TM. Okay, so that does mean, now that we have a bit of a plan, that does mean I can tuck in a little industrial district right around here. And I can start that off with some... It's kind of like a little dripstone farm going. So how do I make a dripstone farm? A dripstone, you literally just need water on top of... Water on top of... Drip. Like, this is all you need, right? And then the rest kind of just figures itself out. Do you need cauldrons or no? Cauldrons if you want to make it into lava or water. So this just hangs, right? Am I okay with the ground being a little bit lower here? I think so. It's actually kind of interesting. Oh, what is this? Oh. She found key room and people are trying to tell us the key rooms are bad. Wow, Chad. So this new idol is cooldown reduction, 20% regen, bonus mana, plus two to speed. Dang. All right, so that's looking fine. And now if we wanted to make a building here, oh, what would I want this building to look like? I kind of wanted to incorporate the uh, super smelter into it as well. So if we did a building here, Uh, 
this is 631. Okay, that's an odd number as well. Good, good. So you have a building that's like that, and then I kind of want another building here. One, two, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, five, six, eleven. Sure. Kind of want something like that. And then I want these buildings to be connected, and I want there to be like an arch above it. So that's going to be a two-story building, and this is going to be a multi-story building, and there's going to be a walkway that connects the two of them. Now, where does my dripstone farm go? Because <laughs> I've I've made I've made an interesting shape. I want this to be industrial, so I think it's going to be like cobble at the bottom and maybe some wood on top, because I think that's kind of that'll be kind of cute looking. No, 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 we don't want to put things underground. I, yeah, underground, I just end up digging holes. I end up not building. So ideally nothing goes underground because then I have to make the buildings they live in, right? There's going to be enough project here to not have to worry about hiding things. So I think the first thing I need to do is I just need to test how this works. Uh, does dripstone need to be in... Does dripstone need to be in columns or can it be just like a giant thing well let's let's test all right i believe all you need for an dripstone farm is this i think if you just do this and then you do this you get growing dripstone Is there anything else I'm missing, or is that is that really all it is? So if that's the case, I want to do a couple of sciences here. that's all you need. So then this should also work. The part that I'm not sure about is... Does this also work, right? We can do we can do a little bit of science here. And if so, that means we actually have a lot of different shapes. Oh I love. God Joe brought me coffee. Any dimension is fine. So all of these work. Oh, oh, hello. I didn't expect it to work like that. I was under the... Imp hello, Santa? Wait, 
Oh, is this the weird uh, bomb villager trader? Yeah. Okay. Don't love you. Profits already. So I thought they hung. I thought they dripped down. I didn't know I got stalagmite. I thought I only got stalactite. How? How do you prevent that? Do people put them on? Do people put them on top of slabs or something like that? Because my expectation was I could use like a flying machine or something to come through and gather everything when it was when it was done. But that, that was not in my expectations. <laughs> and bottom slabs as floor would work and it would only fall? Use two flying machines? Well, no. If, if I can make it so I only need one, that's significantly more efficient. That seems, that seems bad. Oh, she's re-rolled it. Oh. Unless she got two. Fascinating. All right. I want to wait another second here. So yeah, the plan is going to be if we put a... If we make sort of like a tall thing in the middle here, we can use a flying machine to break all of those. At which point we could have all the drops fall into a floor. Probably use something clever for item collection. I, sir? Jeez. <laughs> Don't like you. All right, well, let's grab some boxes so we can start a plan for making build happen. First things first, we can put all the grass away. Which is totally fine. And then we should probably keep the dripstone on us. Let's keep our eye on this. If you're looking to break blocks, there's always lasers. It's not my bed. How do lasers work, Fuji? Like, not ironically. If I made a 9x9, nine nine, could lasers work? Or do lasers only ever block, break the block next to it like a piston? Also, Fuji, let me know if you have time to log in today. I want to smash those echoes to see how we're doing. It breaks in a line. What's the distance? What is the range? All right, let's start grabbing some cobble. Smooth stone, cobble. If it's smooth stone, it'll look like everything else we have. If it's cobble, it'll be slightly different. The distance is enough. Okay, we can use lasers. Do we have lasers unlocked is the next question. Laser. From mechanism. We don't have mechanism, Fuji. Wait, do we have mechanism? Hold on. I don't actually know what mod is I have unlocked anymore. <laughs> Wait, since when do we have Xnet unlocked? Oh, no, we don't. We only have the things that are in yellow unlocked. Never mind. Oh, we have mechanism unlocked. Neat. Right. That was, sorry. I thought the big one we unlocked was AE2. I forgot about mechanism. Well, that's kind of cool. Hey, did you know that we have mechanism unlocked? Fuji, we should use lasers. <laughs> oh. Okay. Oh, wow. That's actually not very expensive. Okay, that's a little bit expensive. It's a little expensive. Okay, cobble. Also need some more chests. Next thing we need is a bunch of spruce. Okay. 
I mean, sure, why not? Let's just grab all this stuff while we're at it. Kind of love the idea of a fantasy city that uses lasers to mine. Heck yeah. I mean, isn't that also just Final Fantasy, right? I probably also want a little bit of oak for highlights. Grab a bunch of random oak stuff here. I want dark oak too. Maybe. I can always grab dark oak later though. This will all be fine for now. Now, what else was I using before? We had some we had some tough mixed in. Just don't think we need the tough. I definitely probably want some andersite though. Let's grab some of that too. And we'll grab the stone cutter. Grab a, a, a bench. Crafting table, that's what it's called. <laughs> All right, I want a cutter. And then I want a bunch of andersite. Oh, we got a Fuji chat. Wow. What an amazing day. Hi! Hello, Mr. Gamble. Good morning. <laughs> How are you? I'm doing all right. I got so many good vaults today. And yeah. when I got the echo this time, I had a doll on me. So there is a 50-50 chance... But you get us another Echo Ore, and I want to know. I want to know. <laughs> it's the one to the left most. I believe it's the 45% loot efficiency is the one that had the, um, the potential for an Echo. Uh, I just I just open them all at the same time. Oh, that's there's fair. Stuff, there's stuff still in here. Right. I should, here? I should empty this. I apologize. It's going to take too long. Why, why, no, it, I've sped it up. Stop doing things manually. <laughs> well, I don't know what to tell you, Fuji. I don't know what to tell you. Stop, stop doing things manually. There was no change log, okay? How am I supposed to know? You're supposed to just try things and then be like, oh, wow, Fuji approved it. Thank you so much. <laughs> That's fair. Oh, my God. I, I, thought, I thought you liked the surprise of logging in and things being better. I mean, you're not wrong. If you want a change log, I can give you change logs. No, every day. I wouldn't like that. You sure? Yeah. Okay. Anyways, Speak. I'm I'm very curious. Very curious to see if we luck out into that extra echo, because that'd be big. That'd be big, big, big. Oh my god. Well, I'm gonna can I help out with the vault switch? stone because that is taking its sweet time. It, it's not. You didn't flip the switch. <laughs> oh, I thought I thought the switch was on. Oh, you wanted me to no, watch. The okay. light is I'm sorry. Off. All right, hold on. Shoop. Okay, it's pretty on, fast. Right? It's pretty fast, I guess. <laughs> That's acceptable speed for you. Oh, I had soul shards in there. That's bad. That's fine. Did you did you clear out uh this thing over here? Clear out what yeah. thing? Yeah, okay. This diffuser. Oh yeah, because that's that's you're gonna be using that afterwards. I, I just need to know if you got that echo or not. That'd be so huge. So sometimes I log on and there's like soul dust in there and I'm like, ooh, more for me. Mm. 
So he's a thief is what I've heard. It's us, comrade. More for us. <laughs> I've... I I use a lot of soul shards, so uh, I've definitely got my own bag over God. here. I hope no one's in a vault right now. Okay. Nope. No one is in a vault right now. God, <laughs> the server just just grinds to a halt. You can just picture smoke happening at Texas Place every time this happens. All right, now we wait a couple minutes. You see an echo in there, chat? I see some Laramar. I see some <laughs> Benny. Ooh, oh my god, you got... Oh, that's just a jewel. Okay, sorry, 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 sorry. So I completed... How many vaults did I complete, chat? There's some Opal. There's um, an Escalium. I completed at least one dollars. scav. What was that, sorry? You gave me four dolls. Oh my god. So... Yeah, oh my god, you got the vault trinket copied. That's huge, dude. I got 900 carbon today in vaults. Ooh. Yeah, and on average, you're getting, you're probably going to get about 50% of that. So that's big, big, big. It's the Xenium. Don't see the echo yet, but I haven't given up hope. Oh my god, 12 Dreamstones. Two key fragments. Very nice. I want to start turning keys into key shards into like proper keys, but that's going to take a bit to, um, every, everything costs steel <laughs> and ec the the issue. cost echoes is the big thing. I don't, I don't, I honestly <gasps> don't. Oh dude, you got the scav crate. Let's go. Ooh, fancy. All right, we're working through our last couple items here. Come on, chat. Boop, boop, Manifest boop. this echo. All right, that's it. That's no, we, we didn't get the echo. No echo. You got six that's more up. black opal, though. That's so big. And you got the trinket. Trinket's quite big. What did you roll on the other trinket, by the way? Oh, I didn't roll it. I just put it into the storage system unrolled. <laughs> oh, really? Oh. I'm uh, sitting in there. I'm going to go roll that. I did not know that. Yeah, I'm I'm actually starting to get a little bit low on gear. Yeah, I I didn't I didn't realize it was a thing that you roll. Yeah. All right, let's see. Let's see if it's a new one. Oh, we got a second crystal ball. Neat. I wonder if it, if the roll is predetermined and it copies your roll. Too. That is, that would have been the same one, honestly. But we found Vault Gear to be a little bit different from that. So I could see it being different. Um, I've learned how to start evaluating jewels as well. Or like which ones we want to keep mm -hmm. or not. Just pulling out anything... That is RNG based. Okay. Uh, I've been high rolling on the uh, mod boxes lately. The compacting drawer was very, very, very big. So I I heard they reduced the cost of compacting drawers, but I think they still cost like four steel. Yes, they cost four steel and two extraordinary layer I'm looking at the recipe right now, which is cheaper than it was, but it's still not cheap, cheap. Yeah, I would I would love to make some. I would yep. love to make a couple of those, but I don't I mean, honestly, I with all the carbon we just got steel on you right now. Pardon me? Like you you talk so much about how you want to like make gear and like spend steel on things. I'm just like, I don't want to spend any of your steel right now. I appreciate that. Um All right, this is the RNG. Oh yeah, let's see what you get. Uh that's straight up carbon in there, which is huge. Got a couple of mystery boxes. What else did you get? A flawed jewel. That's very good. Is it? Okay. Yeah. So flawed jewel is a tier two jewel. It's uh this. Doesn't. 
Wooden oh, Infinity and Soulbound. Bad. Nope, that one's bad. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, I don't know what that means, but it doesn't sound great. Yeah, that's unfortunate. That's okay. Um, they uh, they break down into other components that we can do. Oh, wait, is that another trinket? Oh my god, another trinket? A third crystal ball? <laughs> oh, Plus 50% max mana? Yeah. Does that apply in the overworld? Yes. And it has zero durability. Uh, zero durability use. You basically have infinite double 50% bonus mana in the overworld. Actually, I should be using that. Well, I don't really go through mana that much, but it would help you with dashing and stuff. Yeah, it's kind of cool. Oh, I can't, I can't equip it. You cannot oh, equip wait, it? Oh, it's a charm. It's a charm, not a... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you, yeah, if you put it in the charm <laughs> slot. I, I, I was trying to put it in the trinket slot. And oh. Like, oh. Oh, we purple got a, cupcake. We got a fourth purple cupcake. Yeah, I mean, maybe we could, maybe we could do some trading later on. We'll see. Oh yeah, have you seen the changes? To <gasps> oh, let's go! I was gonna say, have you seen the changes to these boxes? And then you go and you crack us an echo, my man. All right. All right. Well, I don't care about the rest of these. Oh, dude, that's a platinum. Uh, a platinum. That's a platinum. Oh. That's one of the high rolls. So it's. The high rolls now are Echo Pog Platinum. Love that. Yeah, love that. All right, so, all right. Do you have your fortune pick on you, Fuji? Yeah, but uh, I have. I have to go through more things. That's We're not fair. Done yet? <laughs> no, no, no. That's fair. That's fair. That's fair. We got. We got a lot to get through yep. here. Wait, are you cracking the mod boxes? Yeah. All right. Let's see. If, let's you, see if you're as lucky you're as I am. So. Like I, I'm, I'm happy to grind these down into shards if you. No, 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 no. You know, just, I just thought I'm luckier than you are. Oh, you got another compacting drawer, dude. Is that a compacting drawer? I don't think that's a compacting drawer. It's a framed controller, or something or other. Uh, may I see? I don't know what this is. I've never seen this before. Oh yeah, the unfortunately named one. So you can use that as a secondary input into an existing drawer system. Because typically drawers oh, so should... It's, hmm? it's, like the, it's like the secondary controller, but it's just name different for something, for some reason. Yeah, so unfortunately drawers use the, the terminology controller and slave. Mm -hmm. And so if you have a, an automatic farm, you can use the farm into a hopper and hopper into that. Uh, and it's typically like a, a better way so you don't cause conflicts in your system. They're very handy. Oh, so funny when it's in your hand and it's a shield. Wait, how did it go from leg? Oh, you're rolling multiples. I was just like, yeah, I just roll them. I was like, them. how? <laughs> I don't, I'm, I'm not sitting around waiting. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. They, I don't know if any of these are good. I presume not. Uh, this one has the sparkly on it, though. That's nice. Oh, yeah, but everything else is so bad. <laughs> yeah. Wow, that's so unfortunate. I mean, they're they're common, so I just grind them down, right? Like, it's like, do you care about any of these? I presume no. Nope, sure don't. <laughs> All right, so... I do need a new helmet, new pants, and I, I do need basically all new gear. Just to add, you know, just so you know. Why? Because uh, my old gear is getting old, and I'm starting to take more damage, and they're out of repairs. Yep. Well, I'll go I'll go through this and sort it all out later. Um, For now, we can go smash Echo War. All right, you got, you got your fortune pick? Yes. All right, chat? Cross your fingers, cross your toes. Come on, Hyrule. So we could guarantee four, but that's not what we're about. <laughs> that's not what we're about. Maybe, maybe we should start guaranteeing the four. Maybe the four is good enough. Last time we cracked four and we got four. This time, <laughs> this time. Family friendly stream, by the way. 
We get... Oh, oh, the other one could be anything. All right, so we got one from the first, and... How many do you think we got? I hope we got four total. We got four total. Yeah! <laughs> All right, well, we only right need... the money. <laughs> so... Oh, my heart. All right, so we have 15 total right now, which is kind of cool. I was freaking out a little there. I just want you to know. <laughs> no, I, I grabbed the I grabbed the echo out of that chest. Oh no, I know. I'm just I've looking. Got... How much carbon do we get total there? One, two, three, no <laughs> four, five, six, seven, eight. About eight and a half stacks. Yeah, so we, we have fifteen echo right now. It's pretty good. Five hundred. So you got you you got about you got over fifty percent. Of the uh, the carbon I did because I got us nine hundred. No, I should just. Man, we could actually do some stuff now. We could actually build some stuff now. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> so, do you want to know about lasers? Do I want to know about what? Lasers. Oh, that, sure. That's yeah. What we were doing before I logged in. I I don't want to distract you here. Oh, I am so easily distractible. I don't even know where you are. Sorry. Uh, come to the red room. Okay. <laughs> Hello. And let's go down to orange. So over here is a working laser setup. This is how we're generating our cobble. Okay. So the way this works is you have a power cable uh, that powers this laser block. And then the laser cool. pumps into a laser tractor beam. Now, the tractor beam isn't strictly necessary, but it makes your life way easier because the tractor beam will automatically pick up any block that is broken and store it within an internal inventory. So it makes it a lot easier to deal with. So is that an upgrade on the laser? No, it's just a different block. So the laser tractor beam is something you build and then you build a laser. You can see this has two lasers beside it, powering it. The more lasers that enter the block the faster it goes um and so you can see here we have five stone and then hidden behind the stone is an obsidian at the very so end so you ensures... have an unbreakable block at the end right yeah it it's it will break the obsidian if you give it long enough but because of how cobble generation works it spawns a new block in between before it breaks the obsidian yeah it's like a it's like a pickaxe, right? Like it takes an amount of time to break each block based on its hardness. Um and the obsidian takes long enough that it resets the counter with the new stone before it finishes. Um If I had a third laser here, it would be breaking all five stone before it respawns any. Um But I haven't built the third laser yet cuz I felt like we didn't really need it. It is worth mentioning that I had to turn off the singular mason we had because we were running out of stone. Yes, I, I noticed that last night. Um, I need to upgrade these machines to higher tiers. Mm. Um, and that would that would solve the problem there. Mm. It's it's possible for us to generate stone faster. Oh, yeah. I yeah, just yeah, yeah. didn't need to before now. I mean, we didn't need it at the time, right? Yeah. So... Yeah, I, I also have a plan. I'm probably going to move all of these auto crafting machines and the auto traders down to the yellow room. Okay. And just make an entire room of auto crafting. Love it. Uh, so that we can use one drawer controller for like 80 machines. Yeah. It's a good call. Um, but yeah, so yeah, if you... If you make a laser tractor beam and a laser and. So I'd uh, like to show you one you... issue where I can already foresee with the laser. Yeah. Which is, uh, this is how much we've had generation so far. <laughs> so I think a laser is going to punch right through that obsidian. What is the maximum range of a laser? Pretty far. <laughs> okay. So we got we got ourselves a bit of an issue here. Is there a block that it cannot laser through? 
so the the thing is we could probably set it up in a way that it only fires the laser very infrequently. Because I think you can add redstone control to it. Right. Make like a comparator or something. Um, Not even necessarily a competitor, comparator, just like a clock so that it only fires like less often. Yeah, we can do a clock or you could just do like a redstone observer sort of thing. Or like there's another thing where you just yeah. see if it goes to if it goes to the third level, fire the second level. <laughs> yeah. But um, my thought. God, can you imagine if we had the laser and we put it on a create contraption, which swung it around? <laughs> if we had create, this would be way easier because then we could just use the drills. Oh, right. We wouldn't even need the laser anymore. Right. It would be so much easier. I mean, I could also just not use lasers and then we don't have to worry about any of that, right? Yeah, it's up to you. Yeah, because lasers need power. Yeah, but we have infinite power. Do we actually have infinite power? Like, have you solved power for us? What have Fun you... Functionally infinite. Oh, did you uh, see I got us another generator? I don't know if the gas burning generator you, matters. You gotta, you, yeah, the, the gas burning... So the gas burning generator is the best generator possible before until you get like a fission nuclear reactors reactor? or yeah. fusion yeah, reactor. Yeah, yeah, okay. Um, and we have eight of them. Well, <laughs> we technically... Have eight of these... Technically nine. <laughs> no, we we have eight of them. You got a different generator. Oh, did I really? What generator did I get? Yeah. You got the biofuel generator, which is oh. like the precursor to the gas burner. Oh, I got baby. Okay, I'm sorry. I was excited yeah. for nothing. No, I, I, I appreciate your enthusiasm, but I, uh, <laughs> I don't want you to be incorrect. Oh, <laughs> that's fair. That's fair. I stand corrected. Okay. Um, so, so what is what is our happen. output currently? So each of these, I think, can gen can max generate. So they're saying that max output is ninety thousand uh, energy per tick per generator. So like, I don't know, seven seven fifty kilo fe. Yeah, seven fifty kilo fe okay. per tick. Um, what does a laser cost? Which, uh, peanuts. <laughs> the laser looks like it needs giga effie though. No, so it can store that much, but the actual consumption is a couple thousand. It's fine. It's not a big deal. Hmm. Hmm. Just like looking at some of the numbers now. Does this game have a? block that lets you look at like what your input and output is yeah um there's a uh, 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 i want to say network reader i think it's a network reader that was one of the nice things i liked about satisfactory was just being able to click on a tower and it just gives you the full readout of your whole power grid you know yeah so if you if you have a network reader which i don't um, it, it will tell you, uh, how much power you are generating and using across the entire network at any given Okay. Moment. I mean, that's, that's fine. I, I trust you. I believe you, but that our power is yeah. functionally infinite. Yeah. Like it, it's, yeah. what does this do by the I, way? What's this? Is this like cooling? This, or is... Yeah. So th there's a water pump down here. That's generate that's pumping water into this pipe for these machines. And you just um, have the extra for whatever. Well, this whole room is designed um, because around the fact that there's going to be orc quintupling over here. Eventually. Oh, okay. So you just like laid out components because you know more will get there. That's that's fair. That's fair. Yeah, I've I've built it. This entire room exists in a single player world, like fully built. But it's done. Um, yeah. No, no, no. I get you now. I get you now. Yeah. <laughs> Me. Uh, real quick. Yo, Priestess of Zen 2, thank you for that Prime in 13. Appreciate you. Cool. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh well, let me let me start working on a farm then. Hey, have fun. I will have fun. Thank you, Fuji. Good. Good. I deserve it. <laughs> Oh, shucks. What a guy.
any smart people in chat able to tell me what the maximum drip is of a dripstone? When will it stop? Not a single one. Yeah, that's my worry, Manfred. <laughs> Real high. is like six or seven? Okay. Well, first things first. Proof of concept. <laughs> Look at that, the farm already done. Oh, interesting, but we'll only grow stalagmites if there's floor 11 blocks below? Wait, does that mean it won't grow over slabs, Shandara? Hold on, that's, that's important to know. I definitely, I definitely don't want to end up in a situation where it doesn't grow anything. That would be bad. I've never actually made one of these before uh, in any version of Minecraft. So if I'm about to walk into a big old mistake, please let me know. It won't grow the bottom bits. That is deliberate. I don't want the bottom bits. It will still grow the stalactites? Okay, perfect. I don't know. Sometimes sometimes you, you need to double check, right? All right, so the next thing we want to do... about that. Classic shovel stuff.
We can come through and we can add texturing and all kinds of other fancy stuff later. I hope I'm happy with how the cobble's gonna look. <laughs> uh, imagine building all of this and being like, nope, hate the cobble. I'm just trying to do something that's thematically similar to what we're looking at, but like, obviously a little bit different. So it's not just exactly the same all the time, you know what I mean? I'm really missing my one point of reach, by the way. Building without the point of reach is a little bit more frustrating. One, two, three, four. I want one more block there. Get reach with beacons, but I miss it everywhere. I don't think that's quite the solution I wanted. That's neat though. Wait, is that, hold on, did they add that? Or can you get that in vanilla too? I don't think you can get that in vanilla. This is six high. I think I only wanted to be five actually. Now nah, let's do six, let's do six. I've got a plan. I think I'm gonna need some dark oak. That's added to appease people and want to reach for building when they remove the talent. You know what? Maybe I'm completely mistaken. And that is, in fact, exactly what I wanted. And you're right. And I should just take this beacon with me. No, you know what, Green Mittens? You're right. My apologies. That's a great suggestion. Let's go do two things right now. There are two things that you want when you're building. One is reach. Can you all guess what the other one is? What do you think the other thing I'm going to put on my beacon is? Coffee. Okay, good answer. I haven't found the I haven't found the coffee maker. Insane cat got it. Jump. Already got instant mining. Oh, you want jump, especially for redstone. God, an extra point in jump is so huge. Ah, see? Look at my beautiful build. <laughs> huh? I know, you're, you're speechless for how beautiful it is. Two points of reach? I can reach so far. <laughs> right, I wanted uh, dark oak. I think this will look cute. I don't know. We'll see. So there's two things I want here, and I don't know if I've quite pulled it off yet, but let's try. The other thing I need is another building over here. 
can just start with the the wall on this side. Do I want to do this whole building first? Or do I want to start adding some details to it? Let's start adding a little bit of details right now. So people don't start asking themselves, what is this surge guy up to? Oh wait, I wanted that down one no that's a really good height from this side all right that's fine maybe i put a little bit more in the center what is the surge guy up to i know i'm trying to channel a little bit of uh gemini tay right now honestly don't know how all well this is going to work i'm perfectly honest Going in without a plan. I have some like very loose ideas in my brain and I don't know if it's going to work at all. Have idea, start building without a plan, end up making something completely different, still love it. Well, we'll, <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> Definitely some parts of that are, uh, are achievable. Because the idea here, I uh, really like the idea of, of, of combining these two buildings together, right? So we have a little doorway here, and we have a walkway over it. And then, yeah, I guess I do need to put a little bit more of this cobble out still. So one of the things that I know is going to look really good is having, like, an upper level that looks different from the bottom level. But I'm also worried that for purposes of depth, I'll need, like, some logs that go all the way down. And I don't know where those are going to come from currently. So, for example, my original plan would have been to put, like... Right? Like something like this up top. But then I also have potential for like other corner logs. I don't know. So does th would this look good? I don't even know. Feels a little bit cramped because then I don't have as much room for windows, you know? But then it also matches the shape of the supports really well. Then again, I can always just move the supports if that's the problem.
So that'd be here. So yeah, we're going for the type of build where the top is larger than the bottom, and it also steps out one, which is kind of cool. And for the most part, a lot of this is working, but one of the issues is going to be, again, how do you make it so the bottom level isn't just a box? And this is also, like, kind of log heavy. I guess we could have, like, a tiny window there. We could even play around with some depth by having, like, a window on that side. And then stepping it in a level, so, or, ooh, or stepping it out one. Yeah, that all works. That absolutely all works. So let's start grabbing a lighter wood here. We can make this quite a bit lighter if we wanted, like, transformatively so. How much oak do I have? More oak. So, go with me on this journey. Wrong button. <laughs> Wrong journey. <laughs> so, either my window needs to be three tall, or I need to change the height of everything here. Because, like, don't love that yet. This is another place where some detailing could be kind of neat. Like, what if those were stair blocks instead, right? So we're just kind of getting the basic shape in for now. A little too symmetrical on all the sides for starters for my liking, but we'll get there. Hmm, yeah, don't love it. What if, let's do a test on one side. What if we made it lighter? Hey, what's up, Epiphany? Yo, Emerald Bean is a tremendous milestone. Thank you so much for 36 months of support. Holy moly. All right, is this better? Do we like the contrast between the wood or maybe I switch it to spruce? It's better. It's a very hard contrast then between the top layer and the and the bottom layer if we make that dark oak into stripped. Hmm. All right, let's try. Let's change it around a little bit here. What if we did What if we did spruce log? Crap. Crap. Is the plank texture too busy with the cobble? I don't know. Hope not. Once again, the shovel and the axe having a right-click functionality means you can't really build with it in your offhand, which is a little tricky sometimes. Man, this color of wood is reminding me chocolate ice cream, and now I'm hungry. It's the worst. You know? All right, so we can go darker. Oh, that's much nicer. I think that's nicer than the, the lighter side. Besides, we're going to be breaking up a lot of that cobble too. It's very, it's very flat currently, but it won't be. Oh yeah, that's much nicer. 
Okay, we got some plans here. The plans are going to involve removing all of the oak. Oak was a good experiment, but no bueno. And we're also going to remove all the strip logs. Yeah. Probably want that one there. Now, how do I go about... I think I have to go outside each time. Am I going to reach from down below? Yeah, that worked. <laughs> the random upside down staircase stuck on the interior of a wall there was a, a nice look as well. Yeah, like look at that. That is already starting to have a really interesting shape to it, right? Now just picture we go one layer higher, we slap a roof on this, and then on this side we're going to do something similar, and we're going to have like a little... A little combining tower for both sides. We just have to add some windows. We have to add some details. This is turning into something a little bit cute. We could add like a little shed to it or whatever. Holy moly, is this ever slow though. I don't know how effective it's going to be as an actual farm. I guess this is the sort of thing that you just kind of wait, huh? All right, let's see what we've produced in the inside so far. Oh, that's a little bit better. Okay. I'm going to need some light in here eventually. See, so hopefully we're trusting in the process a little. I only still need like 17 dripstone for the caves. So fast enough. I might, I want to build with it too, though. That's a problem. Yeah, this is not necessarily just for vaults. This is also to build with and to craft the blocks out of. Yeah, we have produced uh, 11. Ah, so zoomy. All right, let's put down the rest of the foundation here. That'll tell us, that'll inform us if we need more cobble or not. Wow. We already have all of our cobble? Each.
Does dripstone count as one of the, what's it called? Specialty or richety materials or whatever, if you're building with it? Try out the mod pack Life in the Village 3 at the moment. And it's chill vibes really compliment Surge. Oh, thank you. Thank you for your chill vibes. <laughs> Yeah, we're going to need to add some more depth into this somehow. I'm not quite certain how I want to do that yet. It might just be a matter of having to actually make the inside of this building even smaller than it currently looks. Putting some arches in it. I don't hate that idea. So my thought process there involves actually shrinking the footprint of this building <laughs> even further. But like, what do I really need? All this extra space for right the answer is not a whole lot so the way to do that would be to actually take the entire interior of this building at the very least and filling it with smooth stone and then carving like pillar motif or arches into the outside. That'll give us some depth. It'll also break up a lot of the really busy texture. It'll make everything so small. Ah. I'll grab some smooth stone. I'll give you a little, little demonstration. Ninety shoveling, brutal. Oh, it's a much better one. All right, so now if we grab regular stone, we go ahead and we do this. Could reach six blocks oh my god yo and reese just hit an omega oh my god these two Making me look bad over here. Oops, I just threw my weapon on the ground. All right. This vault axe is... Level 54, 23 damage. Oh, oh my god, plus three chaining. Oh my god. All right. The block placing sounds kind of musical. It gets a little hypnotic after a while, doesn't it, eh? You're just kind of chilling... Get into a vibe. You're like, oh, <laughs> oh no. All right. So yeah, check this out. So if we go, let's say like three in, even if it's just two in, Do a similar thing here. One, two, three. What's up, Pixel Slayer? Love it if I could stop punching through the walls, please. And then what do we do? If we do every three, what happens? Ah, uh, it adds up perfectly. Oh my god. 
What are the chances? And like, suddenly that building looks so much more interesting, right? So how much room if I want to do that in here too? Except for the leftmost, which only has two from its edge. Uh, um, what are you talking about? <laughs> it's perfect. <laughs> Building's perfect. I don't know what you mean. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do this. <laughs> Nice catch. So if I want to do that here as well, crap. Maybe that's just good enough. Oh, I missed. <laughs> I actually think I prefer it wider on this side. So this is what I was talking about of wanting to bring some like vertical lines down on this. And now, now that we're starting to get some shape, right? I'm like, oh, well, well, well. Got ourselves kind of an interesting looking build right now, right? Like that depth does so much to help it, especially because the upper building steps out one. I still think maybe that spruce is supposed to come back a level. Like if we did... We did that here. What does that change? Where did that last block go? Down here. <clears throat> I think that's going to help a lot too. Yeah, yeah it is. Because then what you can do is you can put like little garden planters and stuff on that too. Like that just that just adds so much more pop to it. Oh, ho! and we haven't even gone through and started texturing, right? Like we could add other blocks here. We could add windows in this. We can do all kinds of neat stuff. But I think that might be something that we leave for tomorrow because we've already been live for six hours. So I think 
I think we're going to call it there. This has been a very fun day. This has been a very productive day. Thanks for joining, everybody. Appreciate the heck out of each and every one of you. Yeah, we'll be back tomorrow at 9 a.m. Pacific. I'm going to keep working on this. Maybe do a couple more little cheeky vaults. You know, hang out, do some building, do some chilling. Try and make another farm or two or something like that. So yeah, thank you to everybody who's been hanging out so far for the day. Thank you for all the ways that you support me. Uh, also, a lot of friends stopped by with the raids. I want to say a uh, shout out to all them too. Uh, thank you to Will from Extra Credits for the raid. Thank you to... Ooh. Rieton Snake. Rixton Snake, pardon me. Thank you to... Dead Pine. And happy belated birthday to Dead Pine as well. Yeah, it's been a very fun day. Hey, speaking of people who are chilling on the Magic SMP server, let's go send some love over to Reese. He's streaming his perspective right now. I think he might even be doing some duos with Hazel. Let's just go send some positivity over that way. All right, everybody. Thanks for hanging out. You're all great. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.